Hello, everyone. We're here. No drop frames. The electricity is on. The sound is on. This bodes well for today. Like, this is <laughs> fingers crossed. We got the charity stream on Saturday, so I'm like, I better get these kinks worked out before Saturday because, like, I have, I have a bunch of fun stuff planned for Saturday. It's going to be great. Let's do it. I got to cover that one. Okay. Anyway, good morning, everyone. How are you? All right. Let's go ahead and scroll on up. Today's question of the day is, which book have you colored in most recently? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of an easy, kind of a gimme one this morning, but I'm honestly lucky that I am awake and, and alert. I will explain why it was so crazy yesterday. So, so crazy. Dawn, good morning. Mei Lin, good morning. Cece, good morning. Question today, Romantic Country First Tale. Oh, I have a few pages started in that. Surprise, surprise, I didn't finish them. Um, but I haven't colored in again recently. We should do that. Let's see, Brooke, good morning. Book I have most recently colored in is Mythographic Crystal Kingdom, the tortoise page. Yeah, I don't have any mythic mythographic ones. Probably should get one of those, but it sounds beautiful. Start a page in Romantic Country too. I right, have another one for Romantic Country. Maybe we really do need to do a page in that. Hello Along with Lucy just adds color. Yes, I love her. In fact, um, I've got a link to her YouTube on the downloads page because I use some of her color order, I think in one or two of the charts. It was just for pencils I didn't have. All right, well, either way, she's lovely. <laughs> Vicky, good morning. Let's see. Josephine, good morning. Question today. Rita Berman's Walk Through the Seasons Daffodil Page. I know that the one I have is... I am not remembering. I can't see the title on my shelf. What's her most recent one? I feel like I have her most recent one, but I feel like she came out with another one. Erie's Romantic Country Coloring Books. Perfect. Let's see. You haven't started any page yet. That's fair. Let's see. I'm oh, I missed it. I missed it. What'd she say? Oh, see, Vicky says I'm coloring Johanna Small Victories. Love it. Let's see, Kara says Small Victories. Highly approved. Hi, Kenny. Let's see, I only just started the first one. I've done this guy as well. I'm enjoying it for sure. It's not a race. Exactly, exactly. And I've got a painting that I'm working on that if you've been on Instagram, you've probably seen it, but I'll show it to you guys a little bit. And I'm like fighting with, I want to get it done really fast, but also if I rush it, it's like, eh, probably shouldn't do that. Let's see. And amazingly, I haven't had my coffee yet. I just went and got it. So the perkiness is just general perkiness. <laughs> Let's see, Brig, good morning. Eric's Romantic Country, second day. Why, wait, why is everyone working on Romantic Country? Is it because, wait, is that what uh, Lucy Just Adds Colors was doing? That's a lot of Romantic Country. <laughs> I, feel like I feel like I'm missing out on something. Let's see. Mona says, my recent page is Christine Karen Wildflower Folk. Oh, I love that book, Mona. I am so glad she was able to put out such an amazing book. Like, she deserves it. Absolutely. Let's see. Sherry, good morning. Africa. Okay. I think I do have that one then. All right. Good morning, Mayla. Good morning, Trey. Yes, we had daylight savings spring forward. For those of you not in the U.S., twice a year, uh, we have to change our clocks and all of the pets get really disgruntled and the children are very cranky. And let's be honest, the grownups are cranky too. So if we could just, just not do day, I mean, Arizona, Arizona's got it going great. And I think there's another state that's close to doing it. I thought we were getting rid of that, but who knows? Let's see. I know, right, Britt? That's what I was saying. That's awesome. Hi, Donna. Welcome from Brazil. Right? Yeah. Well, we get an extra hour when we fall back, but spring forward, it's just like, oh, you just, I saw, I saw a meme. If you've seen uh, The Princess Bride, there's a scene where, uh, what was it? Count Rogan um, gets, uh, has him in this machine and he like, it's like, I've just sucked one year of your life away. Well, now there's memes going around saying, I just sucked one hour of your life away. And it's just like, yep, yep, you sure did. <laughs> Right, CC. Oh, uh, thanks, Kenny. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. Oh, yes. Good morning. Welcome. All right. Well, speaking of getting caught up, I actually did it. I actually did it. But while we wait for everybody to come in, you guys want to see the painting that I'm working on? So I got. I've been telling you guys I've been working on decor for the house, and I had plans to do uh, like paintings and other stuff. Anyway, I just hadn't gotten around to it. 
Uh, thanks, Josephine. But I finally uh, bit the bullet the other day. It got started. I didn't work on it at all yesterday. Aw, thanks, Donna. Um, I didn't work on it at all yesterday because we were literally gone all day yesterday. But this is it. Okay, so don't pay too much attention to this. This is just the base coat. But it's acrylic on wood panel. It's like one of those panels you would get that says, like, home sweet home or live, laugh, love or whatever from Hobby Lobby. It's just wood from the wood, but it's like what? It was on sale. So it wasn't $15.99. I think it was like 40% off. But either way, we'll hang it up and I'm doing a, um, a Hobby House. Thank you. Yeah, I've been trying to post pictures. So you can see I have a lot of like the base colors over here. Honestly, it has been so long since I've worked on a painting like this. Just, I don't know. I didn't realize how much from coloring would translate into painting. And I'm not gonna lie, like I'm really, I'm really enjoying it and I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look. So we have these like blocks of green here. So like this is already gonna be leaves. We'll have some here, but like the bench will be covered here. I need to define this a little bit more. Marcy, good morning. Um, obviously we got a birdhouse over here. I still need to do this window for the Shire, but yeah, I'm kind of loving how it is. I do have some reference photos, but it's not this exactly. Um, I actually went into uh, The Hobbit, the, the movie, and I was able to grab a screenshot from that. But in a way, I'm kind of making this up because not only could I not find any reference photos that had this angle of The Hobbit door, uh, like online or in the movie, everything is like angled to the right. So either the door's open or angle it. So I'm kind of doing my own sketch and trying to get the perspective right. But I'm using the reference colors for like the colors of the house and you know, which plants are where. And of course I'm adding some extra plants, but I'm really excited to see it finished. I have the blue painters tape on the outside because there's like a raised frame on the outside. So when I'm all done, I'll remove all the tape and then uh, this will go up. And then of course I'm gonna probably seal it, but I mean, it's acrylic, so it's pretty, pretty durable. Oh, thanks everyone. But I've been, hi Novalu. Uh, I've totally been getting lost in it. Yeah, yeah. So I sketched it out on here, here. Let me see if I can pull up the image that I am using as a reference. Let's see. And I'll show it to you guys here. Got my caps lock on. It's gonna get like huge for just a second, but I wanna make sure I grab the right one here. Uh, let's see, it's that one. Hang on. I think it's this one. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is my reference photo. You can see that it's not straight on the house, that it's kind of at an angle. So, and obviously the colors are a little uh, warped because of the camera, but is it nice or not anymore? No. So that is, that is my reference photo, but then I'm just kind of, oh, really Miss Scones, have you been there? Ooh, nice, Yana. And if I missed anyone come on, coming in, I apologize. But yeah, so that's my reference photo. This is what I'm working on. Again, the colors are not true in the camera. I'll, I'll make sure I take those pictures of it. But that is, that is my reference. All right, let's, let's pull that off. Ooh, there we go. Anyway, so that has been my big project. But then I was like, well, I can't, can't work on this painting and then not catch up with where we're at here. So I did. So if you have not been here for the rest of this page, I don't know if you see, I was working on this last night when we got back. If you haven't been here, yeah, had to change perspective. Aw, oh, thanks, Britt. Where will it hang? Probably down in the living room. Right now, I don't have any paintings up in the living room. And I also got, I don't know if I ever showed you guys. I got, I was, uh, this is at one of the Hobby Lobby trips when I first got there. Um, a lot of times they'll have things on clearance. Here, I'll switch to this camera so you can see. They'll have things on clearance. And there was this really big painting. This is like a... 18 by 24, but it wasn't, you know, it's a painting. It was actually a print and it was in the clearance section because the original image that was on here, like got all stuff. Cause you know, oh, in Hobby Lobby, most of the stuff that's in clearance is uh, like stuffed or damaged or whatever else. So anyway, it was like, what was it? It's like five bucks, it was five bucks. And it's got this built-in frame too. So I was just like, um, yoink. <laughs> and I totally got it, brought it home and I have it all primed. So I kind of want to do a Lord of the Rings theme with it. So like in comparison, in comparison, 
This is, this is the painting I'm working on. This is the canvas. So, and I'll look at chat in a second, I can't But what I'm thinking would be fun to do is to choose another like really dynamic scene from Lord of the Rings. Like, um, you know, the scene where Gandalf is riding out uh, from Minas Tirith to bring, uh, you know, like Wormer's brother and all of them because they're being chased by the Nazgul. Anyway, there's this really cool like panoramic scene where like Gandalf's got his, you know, really bright. Anyway, I have plans. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking like all, all uh, Lord of the Rings things. Steve and I both love Lord of the Rings, so it works. Also, I'm very just cozy, loose, loose clothes today. Let's see what I miss. Oh, thanks, Noah Lou. Hi, Annette. Let's see, Renee. Ooh, Renee, I, uh, Steve went to the post office this morning. I got your thing. Yeah, it's your birthday? Hold up, hold up. <laughs> thanks, Josie. All right, we've done a handful since we've done the face cam, all right? Is everybody, is everybody ready for this? This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. It's always so weird for me to look at the camera. I'm not gonna look at the camera. I feel like, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> but happy birthday. All right, well, oh yeah, and Renee. So Renee sent some lovely Easter charms for our quilts, which, ta-da. So people, Renee actually, I think is the uh, is the closest. I have this white shirt, so it's like blowing the light out so much. <laughs> Happy birthday, but yes, they are so cute. The heavy duty too, I love it. I was just like, for quality, I like it. But there's all sorts of super cute ones. So we will definitely have to get these up for you guys to, to choose from. And even if it's past Easter, when people are like starting to get charms or squares or whatever else. <laughs> I know, right, Kenny? I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Hi, Dominique. Mm -hmm. Coffee is good. All right. So recap on this page. <laughs> Shame. See, there's like 200 of them and they aren't 100%. Oh, they're not. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I hadn't opened them yet. Hang on. We, we got some time. Uh, it's actually spring break here. It's actually spring break here. So Steve is, is home. Um, kiddos are doing their own thing. We did a ton of stuff yesterday, which is why uh, I wasn't at Claire's stream, but I started uh, watching it, rewatching it this morning. And Claire, if I had been there, I promise I would have helped you with the poll. <laughs> but I am, what did I, I think I'm about half, halfway through. My brain's all, all frazzled now, but I was like, why are, where did we leave? Anyway, YouTube will let me know where I left off at. But the, oh, look at these bunnies. This reminds me of like Totoro. Oh, here, I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in so you can see. There we go. It reminds me of Totoro. That's adorable. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, yeah. Look at the bunny with the strawberry. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I will be sorting all of these and finding out what we have of each. <laughs> The little chick. There we go. <laughs> On white, maybe? Yeah. Uh, there we go. This is a page I printed out, but haven't. There we go. Haven't colored it yet. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then we'll get them in focus. There we go. There we go. All right. So we've got, oh, look at the little bunny with the carrot cake. It's Steve! <laughs> All right, so, holy heck, there's so many in here, Renee. Oh, look, he's got the little clock like Alice in Wonderland. Okay, that's adorable, right, Kara? Oh my goodness, those are cute. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to sort these and look. Okay, okay, are you kidding me? Look, it's, it's, one's got a fork and one's got a spoon. Oh, I always got a friend, <laughs> but that's adorable. Okay, I'm super excited about it. Now the question is, can I get him back in the, back in the thing? Okay, hang on, hold on. That is so cute. Yeah, we are getting really close. I think we are gonna be getting our first, uh, first square very, uh, very, very soon. Right, they're so cute, oh my goodness. Yeah, and I, I have the pictures taken. I just, it's on my list to update the uh, the loyalty page. 
But yeah, I think Renee is close. Let's see, let's see, let's look up the store here. Renee is, yeah, Renee, you're really close. You're almost, you're almost at 3,000. You're at 2,995. So you only need like 500 more points to get to the, um, uh, 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 to the vinyl name. Yeah, you're really close. And then we've got some like Josephine is right behind her. Durbin, Durbin is behind her. And Durbin probably actually has a few extra because they they have a couple extra accounts that we need to combine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Durbin. <laughs> I need to, uh, Durbin, will you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor and send me a message, whether it's email, Instagram, Discord, wherever else. Let me know, because I know you have, um, like two other ones. They, I, I think this one's your main and it has the most, but shoot me those other names so I can pull them up and combine since we are all still getting, not still, since we, <laughs> since there's a lot of ones that are getting close. I, I can't word, words are hard. Oh my goodness. Let's see, hi Kathleen. Okay, all right, so, oh. Oh, it's a little black bunny. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a little, little white bunny. That's adorable. <clears throat> All right, coffee in hand, page in hand. So what we have done so far is we have, um, you know, we colored these trees, colored these leaves. What I caught up on was finishing, finally finishing the bushes, which we did on the first stream. And then I caught up on these. The only leaves that I did differently for these ones, I did like yellow and kind of orange and, and red and blended it that way. But for these other leaves, I just basically did what I did here. A few of them I introduced like a little bit of orange, a little bit more blue, something so that they weren't all the same color and it gave a little bit, little bit of variation. Now, um, this one is a little bit lighter colored, but I followed the same basic principle that I did on this one. Tree chunks are pretty much exactly the same, slightly different coloring, but I didn't intend for the trees to be identical. Ah, uh, thanks, Cece. Um, but what I did that kind of helped, uh, I know, right? Thank you so much, Renee. It was such, so, like Steve Brown was like, ooh, what do we have? And I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> so thank you for that, Renee. I'm excited to get them up. Um, so we have, what I did is I kind of separated sections. Like clearly there was a trunk that was in the foreground. So I was like, all right, well, everything behind it then should probably be shadowed. So a lot of these, what? I didn't read that last part. Britt, oh my God. Sounds good, Trey. Britt, I didn't read the last sentence. And I'm like, why is Vicky doing that? What? Gross. Mm. Oh my word. Um, so where I knew there was going to be shadow, I made sure to add, <laughs> I made sure to add, um, I added some dark green, some black, some dark blue, and then I made sure to add the darkness in between to just kind of give it that definition a little bit. <laughs> so what we're going to work on today are this tree, this tree, the border, and then all of the little embellishments, because I want to add maybe some stars to the pink sky. I want to add um, some kind of glowy, like gold, um, oh, excuse me, uh, gold gel pen to the flowers and around her. Just some last little embellishments. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Mm. All right, so let's jump in and let's work on the trees. I was trying to think, I was trying to think about what colors I wanted to do because this tree is the furthest back. So I think we're gonna make this tree a little, mm, I, don't want, I was gonna go bluish initially and have this one be purple. We could do like a greenish red back here. I know we've got like a little bit of pink, but I don't wanna do it all green. So I wanna do this one purple, wanna do this one greenish red. So let's get started with that and kind of go from there. Um, so if you've been following along, Yes, it's in the shadow of the castle, exactly. So this one's gonna be the darkest tree of all. So uh, for this page, we have our theme has been uh, Derwent in general. So we've got the Chroma Flow, the ones we've been using are the Derwent Chroma Flow, the Derwent Color Soft, the Derwent, Derwent Intense, and the Derwent Drawing One. So we're using... <laughs> The kids
Kids had a book called Everyone Poops, and uh, that was one of their favorite books. Um, <laughs> wasn't highly detailed with what happens to it, but it was there. Uh, so our base for this page is the Derwent Intense, and I just realized I meant to get a cup of water before we started, and I did not. So I gotta clean that brush. I've been doing a lot of painting at the desk recently. Obviously, with the with the Hobbit house. All right, so we have water. We don't need much. Make sure I get a rag. Okay. A uh, well-loved paint jar. There's dried acrylic paint at the bottom. It's cool. It's cool. All right. Ugh. There we go. All right. So for the tree in the background, so I only have the 12 pack of inktons, which is fine. It helps us to kind of think outside the box just a little bit. So I kind of am thinking, do I want to do a blue base? or a fuchsia one. I feel like if I were to do fuchsia, it would end up being a little too brown. Let's, let's be brave. Let's be brave and let's do sea blue. And we're gonna start with that. And then of course we'll do brown for the trunk. So yeah, I missed, um, I missed Claire's stream. Like I said, I'm rewatching it. I'm about halfway through, but it's for a good reason. So uh, if you, if you don't have school age kids, um, I know that not all states are the same, but for us, uh, for us, it is spring break this week. So we told the kids that we would go and do, you know, something special, something fun, not a big vacation. We're still in the middle of, you know, like, I'm not gonna lie. We still have some stuff that we haven't unpacked yet. And it's just like, kind of, we have free time. I want to, you know, sleep if I can, or relax or whatever else in a massive week long you know, trip with a hotel and all that does not appeal to me in any way, shape or form. Hi, Kim. So we plan to do a bit of a day trip. So it was a little bit of a drive, but it was doable, uh, doable during the daytime. Um, we actually went to San Antonio yesterday. First time in San Antonio, never been there. Um, I will say I don't ever want to live in a big city. My goodness, it's crowded, but we, <laughs> I think Steve and I made a mistake because we tried to do too much in one day. Like maybe we were so anxious to like and excited to go see all the things. Hi, Sheila. Uh, see all the things that we tried. Uh, we tried to see all the things. So one of the first places we went to. Aw, thanks, Wendy. One of the first places we went to because I heard a lot of good things about it is the San Antonio Zoo. Hi, Della. Ooh, shopping at craft stores. Nice. Love that. Oh my goodness, Kara, so much. Like, I had never been there. Like, I've been to Houston. I've been to New York. You know, it's not like I don't go to big cities or whatever, but I think I just didn't expect so much. <laughs> so we went to the San Antonio Zoo, which everybody says, you know, of the big city zoos, San Antonio is really great. So I've been to a handful of zoos before. So in Oregon, where I was at before, uh, the Portland Zoo is the zoo to go to. And I'm not gonna lie, I love the zoo. I love the way that it's set. I like a zoo where it's easy to navigate. You don't have to, you know, you don't run into too many dead ends. You don't have to, you know, go too many, you know, side quests to see all the animals. And half the time there's so much going on and you're so overwhelmed, you end up missing. Sounds good, Trey. Uh, you end up missing some of the animals. So I will and always love the Portland Zoo. I think of all the zoos that I have been to, easily the Portland Zoo is my favorite. Um, I've been to the Houston Zoo a couple of times. It's okay, but again, the paths are really hard to follow. And if you go during the summertime, let's be honest. I was telling Steve yesterday, I have so much respect for those that work at the zoo during the summertime. Like it has just got to be unbearable go back and watch. Oh, for, for Claire's. Oh, for getting for the birthday song. I did indeed. I did indeed. Um, so we're going to use water. Now we're going to activate this. So, um, all right. First impressions of the San Antonio zoo. If you haven't been there before, this is coming from someone who had never been there. I heard lots of good things about it. I did feel like it was less of a zoo and more of like, it reminded me of a fair, honestly. Oh, is it really? Okay. 
Yeah, it reminded me of a fair. First of all, <laughs> this was the first zoo where I've seen where like gift shop kiosks were all over the zoo, which makes sense. You know, they're they're you know they're they're a business. They're they're going to try and you know sell you things and everything else. Most zoos that I've been to, the gift shops are at the end. Yeah, that's the best way I can explain it, Britt, because of course there were all of the pens. They had a good variety of animals. Some of the animals weren't out, but that's never the zoo's fault because, you know, animals sleep, whatever. You can't ever guarantee they're all gonna be, they're all gonna be out. Um, and I think, unless we just fully missed it, I didn't know if they had an active elephant thing. Of course, I don't know, like there's, there's a very real chance that I just completely missed it. It was, like I said, we were completely overwhelmed yesterday. Um, but the reason that I say it's kind of like a fair now, granted, it's a huge zoo, ginormous. We meant to get there at like nine when they open, but I, I did not sleep well the night before and we were like really running late. Anyway, we got there at about 10. So an hour after it opened and oh my goodness, the, the traffic and the parking, like I know that it's spring break. So like everybody, everybody and their uncle is going, you know? <laughs> Hang on. We're gonna dry this real quick. Oh wait, it's Kathleen's birthday too? Hold on. I'm drying it real quick. Oh, I realized I need to pull the live stream back up. There it is. Oh, it's Kathleen's birthday tomorrow. All right, this is your birthday song. It is a very long cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kathleen. Um. So yeah, traffic is crazy. However, however, they had a, they did have a, they had free parking. And so, but it was a, um, a parking garage. So we got to like level three. Let's see. Let's start with, I'm also trying to, maybe not to get too distracted. Oh, thank you, Momo. I know, right? Uh, I've been watching, I've been watching The Hobbit like while I'm painting it. I'm really excited. <laughs> You want to know one of the goofy reasons why I'm excited to finish it? You know those um, uh, uh, like quintessential Instagram posts where the person stands there and like turns the painting? I'm like totally going to do that with this one. Either that or I'm like going to take a video of it outside because you know it's The Hobbit. You, you know, get, got to get the aesthetic going. Okay, so real quick what I'm going to be doing. Let's see, zoom in the rest of the way here. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the thing is so, you know, we've got two kids and they're older. And if it got too crowded, it was like hands, hold hands. But it wasn't just me. Steve was there too. So we pretty much just said, I'll take that kid. You take this kid. And so we were able to keep an eye on them pretty good. Plus they also have um, little, um, not Fitbits, but they have like a, a kid's watch thingy so we can uh if they were to get separated they can contact us and uh it has gps tracking on it so thank god for uh um uh words i can't word right now um <laughs> technology there we go but yes it was if i had had some headphones oh you're welcome kathleen i probably would have been better i know right durbin woohoo technology <laughs> yeah, words are so hard um, but anyway, so we ended up going up, oh, wait, 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 hold on, pause story, explain what I'm doing here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green and I am going to start in the areas that are going to be the most shadowed, kind of how I separated these sections of the trees. That is what I'm going to start doing with the green, but we're also going to use black. We're just starting with green to kind of map it out. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, the parking garage was huge. We got up to level three. It was a little bit of a walk. You better believe I was wearing sneakers and we were all, uh, Oh, nice, Carol. It was, Wendy, but it was a lot. It, it, it was definitely a lot. So we had to walk down there, but honestly, most of these places, when they're that big, you have to you know, either take a shuttle or a walk, and it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal on the way there. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know, how many hours did we spend there? We must have been there for like three-ish hours. No, I think it was four hours. And I still felt like we missed stuff. Like they had a lot of good, um, 
a lot of good things, but like the kids were just exhausted by the time we're done, which was kind of mistake number one on our part, but we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. So um, they went digital for a lot of things. So you could actually purchase your tickets. You could purchase your ticket online. And then just when you show up, you just showed them your phone. They scanned the little QR code and you're good to go. So the checking in line was really, um, was really short, which was nice. There were lines for absolutely everything else, uh, but it was still good. Clearly like the San Antonio Zoo is the hot spot to go if you have kids. It was packed, so packed, it was absolutely crazy. And so of course we got a map when we went in and then we just, you know, did the best kind of circuit that we could. Um, and you know, everything was clean. Um, some of the bathrooms on the less main path of the zoo looked a little bit to be uh, desired. And we forgot to bring our snack bag in, so we did need to get some snacks while we were um, there. And of course, you know, with the zoo, that's all gonna be overpriced anyway. Um, but there was just, there was a lot. There was giraffe feeding. There was an experience where you could go pet a shark. And I'm like, or no, was it a shark? Yeah, they had a sign that they had like pet, sh pet sharks coming in. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Bye, Kim, thanks for being here. Um, so, I mean, we saw, we saw so much stuff, so, so much stuff. And the kids, you know, they absolutely loved it. We hit up the, um, the, uh, you know, gift shop when we were all done. So they had a lot of, um, you know, great displays. Animals were all well taken care of, you know, plenty of room. I was, I was impressed with the care of the animals. You know, the personal experience was a little overwhelming, but with the care of the animals, I was very, very impressed. But the, the reason I say that it's kind of like a fair is because they had like these, these, oh, thanks, Della. Right, Wendy? I would love to go to that so much. Um, they have these little kiosks all over the place. Like I said, like little, um, like gift shops that are, that are, you know, pop-up gift shops. There's places for snacks. But the other thing was, so like to go into the butterfly house, to go into uh, the birdhouse where you can feed them nectar, you had to buy tickets to go see those things. Now that may be like normal in a lot of other places, but for me, that's the first zoo that I've been to, short of, you know, specialty attractions where there's some sort of like performance or whatever else. That's the first zoo that I've been to where you had to pay additionally for all of these attractions. Like at the Portland Zoo, the Waco Zoo is amazing. Like that's, that's your, so Portland Zoo is in Oregon, but Waco Zoo is, uh, is in Texas. Um, the Austin Zoo really isn't much of a zoo. But anyway, the point is, it's the first place where I've been as far as zoos are concerned, where you had to pay extra to go into these displays, which again, I get, cause they're big, but it just felt very much like, you know, you already paid an arm and a leg to get in there. And it was just like, Anyway, hi, Kelly. Uh, so that was a little bit of a turnoff for us. And then also it was just so packed, so packed. It was definitely an experience that we wanted to do at least once. And Dallas is better than it used to be in Fort Worth is excellent. See, we haven't been up north for that yet. Um, so zoos in Texas that we've been to, uh, Waco Zoo, Houston Zoo, Austin Zoo, and San Antonio Zoo, which is what we just went to. But I mean, it was good. The kids had a, had a grand old time. Um, but uh, but yeah, so it was very good. And then, so like I said, uh, let's see, we're gonna use grass green. We wanted to try and fit in as much, you know, experience <laughs> as we could. Yeah, Renee, it was, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, we don't do, we don't do big trips like that very often, but the kids really wanted to do something for spring break and we were not going to, you know, drop however many thousands of dollars it was to stay at hotels and everything. They're like, okay, where, where can we drive to in a day? That's not terrible. Um, so, so anyway, after that, we're like, okay, well, we're in San Antonio and Steve being the historian that he is. Okay, that was, um, that was grass green from Derwent Cremaflow. We are going to grab, uh, let's see, is this the black? Yes, we're gonna grab the black and we're gonna start adding in our heavier shadows. Oh, and it's a tiny zoo, okay, okay. Well, so we're like, all right, well, we're here because we got done at the zoo. What time did we get done at the zoo? 
even by the time we got to the car and got out of there, it was like three, no, maybe three. I don't know. It was all, <laughs> yes, it definitely was. It definitely was. And so here's where our mistakes started to happen though, because we had never been to San Antonio. We don't know when we're going to go back. Um, we wanted to try and fit in as much as possible. Uh, now the Alamo is free to go see the Alamo. So we're like, uh, little Emily had a lesson about the Alamo and, you know, Steve is a historian and he, he teaches on it and everything. So we're like, well, let's go see the Alamo. And it was cool, but I, I just didn't take into account how exhausted we were all going to be after a day of the zoo. So we did make it there. We got parked and we walked down to it and it was cool. It was cool. They had a lot of cool displays. We didn't really, um, we didn't really go inside the church because the line was the lines for everything in San Antonio. The lines, oh, she'll love that. Uh, Vicky, also the Houston Aquarium is really nice. We've been to that one. There's a little like underwater train you can go on that was great. Um, so we went there and we had talked to some people who had been there before and they're like, okay, well, don't worry about budgeting too much time for the Alamo because it's really not gonna take you that long. And since we chose not to go in, it really didn't take us all that long. So, you know, we got some obligatory pictures uh, in front of the Alamo and hung out there for a little while. It was, it was good fun. And then from there, because the San Antonio River Walk is right next to the Alamo, like it's all within walking distance. All right, so I'm making sure that I'm adding more black here where this tree is overlapping. The London is like, oh, I would think so. Yeah, London's gotta be huge. Um, so we did decide to go walk down. And of course, at this time, the kids were still energized because it was new and everything. And so we did get to go check it out, but we did not spend as much time there as I think we would have liked. But part of it is we did not anticipate. <laughs> it really isn't big. I mean, it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. Uh, we play Pokemon Go with the kids. And if you're familiar with it at all, um, Pokemon Go revolves around actually going out in the real world. Uh, there are special like stops you go to for, you know, pl places and whatnot anyway. So we made sure we spun the polka stops at the, at the Alamo, but, um, the San Antonio river walk is flipping huge. There is so much to it. And I also didn't know they do boat tours. So we're like, okay, it's cool. Let's do a boat tour. <laughs> I think it was close to like five o'clock and in between the Alamo and the San Antonio River Rock. <laughs> surprisingly, they didn't, Britt. Surprisingly, they didn't. Um, in between the Alamo and San Antonio River Walk, we did go find a place to eat real quick. There was like this kind of mall that was there and there was a Lego land. So of course we went and looked over there. Um, but uh, we don't spend too much. <laughs> Again, Lego. Legos are not cheap. So we're like, let's go. Let's Let's just go look. I mean, cause it's Legoland, right? So we went and we had some dinner and then we went ahead and walked down to the San Antonio River Rock. We figured we'd just, you know, kind of walk and check things out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I know, right, Kelly? So a lot of birthdays in March, we're all artsy, <laughs> right? Uh, mine's next month, you guys. I'm gonna be flipping 38 next month. Oh, mercy. You know, but I get that. I get that because like, I remember when I was younger thinking 33 was so old and now I'm like going on 30 and I'm like, it's not that old. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's absolutely huge. The amount of shops that are there, like, so I told Steve, maybe we should like go back for my birthday or something because that was definitely not a let's just take a quick jaunt down to the river walk and check everything out. No, that was not just a quick jaunt. You need to plan an entirely separate trip to really like appreciate the, the like San Antonio river walk. There is so much. So I think we're going to plan a separate trip, maybe for my birthday. Well, we'll go down there. We'll go early. Yes, exactly. Josephine spring break. <laughs> it was not a good idea. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't like personally, like I don't really need any more books or colored pencils. I actually want a new easel. I want a new easel because the one that I, the one that I currently have, I've had since I was like 16. Um, anyway, it broke, <laughs> which go figure. I've had it for over 20 years. So, you know, I feel like <laughs> got my parents money worth out of that. 
Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I want to use, there is a, ah, there's color soft here. Ooh, nice. Hi, Allison. Um, so yeah, we need to go down there and make a whole separate trip. But I say that we made a mistake because by the time we got to the San Antonio River Walk, we underestimated how big it was and all the, the walking. My feet were killing me. The kids were exhausted. We were definitely all a little overstimulated. And so anyway, we ended up um, <laughs> regretting about how much we walked because I'm gonna tell you right now, my feet, my dogs are barking. <laughs> Barbara, hello. Barbara, you were working so hard yesterday in Claire's stream. I got about halfway there and I'm watching it, but that was so lovely. Oh, thanks, Barbara. Right, Britt? Yeah, it's uh it yeah, it's 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 a field easel. So it folds up. Its final straw was my plan was I have a section in the office where I want to leave my easel up. Uh, and one of the legs gave out, like the cats didn't mess with it. There wasn't anything heavy on it, but I guess the sprue has just been wiggled one too many times. It gave out and it came crashing down. Thankfully there was no open paint at the time. Um, but yeah, it's been well loved. I'm kind of hobnobbling it together while, while I work on, while I work on this, uh, this Hobbit one. But yes, yeah, so I said for my birthday, I want, I want it. <laughs> right, Brit? Oh, I know it. I know it. Actually, she was mad that we were gone all day. <laughs> right, Kelly? Exactly. All right, so Derwent Chromaflow. Um, so yeah, so we finally, we were like, okay, because we debated about trying to see if we could, I'm using that magenta, to see if we could uh, like do a boat tour. And I'm like, that'd be great. We could sit down. We could, you know, go along the river. It'll be fun. The last little thing. Well, it was like an hour wait an hour wait to uh, to get on a boat and the kids were just like ready to just collapse from exhaustion. I was like, all right, we need to go. We need to plan this for another day. And so we got ice cream on the way home. <laughs> Perfect, Renee, thank you. <laughs> so I was just like, this needs to be an entirely separate thing that we do. So. Um, we're going to do that. There's lots of cool, there's a Madame Tussauds down there. I don't know, although I feel like all the wax figures would probably uh, scare the kids. So I don't know that we'll do Madame Tussauds, but there was a um, a place with like funny mirrors and stuff. So, right, Josephine, exactly. Yeah, there was a haagen right next, I'm using the uh, Derwent Drawing Chocolate. There was a haagen right next to where we were coming from the Alamo. So, we walked back up. They were such troopers. I'm serious. Like, it is such a good thing. Oh, Britt, you're getting close. It was such a good thing that we all wore sneakers that day. Um, so we got our ice cream and we came back and we just sat in front of the Alamo, had our ice cream because we didn't want it, you know, melting in the car or whatever else. Um, and then we finally made it back to the car. The kids were exhausted. They didn't fall asleep. I'm going to tell you right now, though. When it was bedtime, because, you know, there really wasn't much time left until bedtime by the time we got back. When it was bedtime, they zonked out so fast, so fast. And they were just, yeah. Anyway, when I woke up this morning, they were all looking fairly, uh, <laughs> fairly exhausted still. So I told them, I was just like, all right, guys, I have a chore for you to do today. And of course they roll over and they're just like, what? I'm like, your chore is to do absolutely nothing. And they're like, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I am surprised that I'm as perky as I am. Cause we got home and of course, you know, we all showered because it was warm and it was humid cause hello, South Texas. Um, but it was, it was really good and we do want to go back, but I think that we definitely made the mistake. I think if we had stopped at the Alamo, it wouldn't have been that bad. But to try and do the San Antonio Zoo, the Alamo, and the San Antonio River Walk in a space of like, what? It was from nine to like, it wasn't dark yet. I think we finally left about six. So what is that? It's nine hours. <laughs> they didn't really sleep in either. I guess they'd, we had them in bed by, by nine. We had them, which is their, which is their bedtime when there's no school the next day. And then they, they slipped into like, I mean, they got like 10 hours of sleep last night. So, uh, Josephine, I specifically charged this. I 
hit 14,000 steps by the time we got home yesterday. 14,000 steps. And because I play Pokemon Go with the kids, um, to hatch Pokemon in the game, you put these tiny little Pokemon eggs in incubators. And the way that it works is to hatch your eggs, you have to walk and it registers how much you walk. So it like registered a bunch of kilometers while we were doing all of that. So I was like, well, it worked. <laughs> right, Emma? So, and they were true. You know, the kids are young. So honestly, by the end of it, little Steve was just exhausted and he did not want to walk anymore. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just surprised we didn't have any kinds of, uh, of meltdown, but you know, we, we made it through. Ooh, have fun, Kelly. Enjoy your clamming. But, um, <laughs> like I said, uh, see, so we're going to use raisin. I think we were just too excited to fit so much into one day, but in my defense, I didn't know. Oh yeah. My feet are killing me this morning, Vicky. Thank God I wore my sneakers. And like the, like the lady that I am, I had uh, Dr. Scholl's inserts <laughs> in my sneakers. Um, so yeah, really glad that I wore those. But um, yeah, I just, I didn't know that the river walk was, I don't know what I imagined. I guess I didn't really think about how long the river actually is. It reminded me a lot of, no blisters, surprisingly, no. Um, it reminded me a lot of like, not that I've ever been to New Orleans, but like it had a little bit of a New Orleans vibe to it. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was, it was, it was we need to go back basically. And we need to make that our only, our only activity for, for the day. Cause yeah, that was really intense. But you know, in the end, they had a good time. They got to go to the gift shop um, afterwards. Steve and I have a tradition. So we're gonna use magenta. Steve and I have a uh, tradition that every time we go to a zoo, we always get a refrigerator magnet. So like all of our refrigerator magnets um, are all, you know, they have zoos. And stuff. We're quite such zoo connoisseurs. <laughs> We've never lived close enough to a zoo though to warrant like a, like a membership to it or anything. We just don't go all that often. Um, but so I would say my consensus for zoos in Texas that I've been into, so it's between uh, the Austin Zoo, the Houston Zoo, San Antonio Zoo, and uh, the Waco Zoo. Hilariously enough, the Waco Zoo is my favorite. Not necessarily for the adult experience, but the wonderful thing about the Waco Zoo is because it's a smaller zoo, number one, it's not super crowded. Uh, but also for, oh my gosh, Josephine. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. It's similar to New Orleans. It's cleaner for sure. Yeah. Cause I've never been there. So now I'm actually curious how many of you have been to the, the places. So here, we're going to, we're going to start a poll here. All right. So how many have you been to and i know that a lot of you that um, don't travel or i know that you will or don't travel or don't live in the same country that's not a super fair question but i'm just curious how many have actually been to it so um san antonio zoo okay let's do the river oh hit a button hang on hang on okay the river walk we're gonna add the Alamo, and then the fourth one is going to be either two or all. So that means either two or all means you've been to at least two of them or you've been to all three of those. Cause I'm just, I'm curious. So obviously those are all in San Antonio, but now I'm just curious how many have also been there before. Right, Leslie, the Waco Zoo is so nice. There's so many trees and for Texas, like, having having um having a place to escape the heat um i think it felt more crowded too because there were a lot of indoor exhibits but i get why they do that because especially we haven't done a a you know not not that we live in san antonio because we don't but we're further south now and we have not done a further south in texas summer yet so i don't know how bad san antonio gets but I get why they have to have a lot of indoor exhibits because it would just be too hot. Like, absolutely. Sounds good, bird lady. Enjoy your gardening. Well, I figured out. 
<laughs> yeah, I know some of you haven't been, but I'm curious of those of you that are, you know, have been in Texas or have been, you know, visited or whatever else. I'm just curious how many of us have actually been to that specific one. I know it's like kind of hard because not everybody, because like I've never been to London, although it is on my bucket list. I would love to go to London. I'm just blending it right now, by the way. Let's see. Whole day's worth of walking and exploring. I know it. Okay. I'm ending in now because I know there's not going to be too many of them, but let's see. Okay. So some of you have been to multiple. Hang on one second. I just need to clear my throat. Yeah. And honestly, Emma, oh, hang on one second. I don't recall a time when we've tried to do more than just a zoo in one day. Like, <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice, Durbin. Yes, yeah, so I mean, it's big, but I think that I have just grown to uh, enjoy smaller experiences, you know, less crowded, smaller experiences, just the works. Oh, nice, Allison. Yeah, I, I felt pretty overwhelmed. I'm using um, Pale Cedar 4125 because I want to tone this down just a little bit. Since, since, since it's in the background, I don't want it to be super vibrant. So we are going to um, remove some of the vibrancy of the color. But yeah, it was it was just, it was a good experience. The kids loved it, but we are all beyond exhausted now. <laughs> oh, the San Diego Zoo, nice. What possessed you? I don't know, Emma. I think we were just so excited. Like, well, yeah, we're gonna go to San Antonio. That's gonna be great. We're gonna go to the zoo and the Yalamo and the Riverwalk and the Riverwalk might as well have its own zip code. Like, it's huge. It's so huge. Like, and there's no way. Uh, I'm using uh, Solway Blue 3 from the um, Derwent Dry. There's no way we could have done the, even if we had the energy and our feet were prime. Like, that's the other thing is we, you know, we had to walk back to to the car and so i was just like uh, i don't really want to you know thank god for daylight savings i say that even though i'm irritated with it because we yeah we didn't want to walk back to the car in in the dark as it was it was getting to be evening and i was just like everybody hold a hand you do not let go of my hand we will walk with purpose and walk back to the car <laughs> Yeah, you can always tell the people that aren't from big cities when they're just like super paranoid about everything. But it was a good time and the kids enjoyed it and we're gonna need the rest of spring break to uh, recuperate from it. Uh, Sheila, so in San Antonio, there is a large river that flows through it and there are all kinds of shops, restaurants, all the things, there's boat tours, there's a lot to do. However, had you asked me that yesterday, I would have just said, oh, I think there's a few shops along it. And that would have been it. <laughs> How wrong I was. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. If you Google just the San Antonio River Walk, uh, you, should, uh, you should be able to pull it up. But yeah, it was a lot. Nice chocolate from the Durant Drawing Set. Uh, but it was, it was good. So we're thinking that it might be nice to take it down. And obviously it's not a trip we can do all the time because you know, hello groceries, but you know, for a special occasion, I think after we go back down to do the river walk and do it justice, I don't see us going there again. Like the kids even said, they're like, we like our small town, you know? <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't think we'll need to go a ton uh, to not be satisfied with it. But the, the Alamo was cool. It was cool having been there. It looks like they're getting ready to put up. I'm using uh, Green Shadow 4135. It looks like they're getting ready to put up like a uh, museum and like info center for the Alamo, which is really cool. Um, but uh, Little Emily recently did a project on the Alamo. So a lot of that was kind of fresh in her head so we're able because we had to build a um a uh, like a model of the alamo and so a lot of the scenes just like oh yeah we put that thing on it and we did this and i'm like we sure did so we got pictures <laughs> right vicky yeah no we have no desire to leave the house ever again <laughs> yes absolutely bird lady yeah um i'm sure that if you had lived there and if you were like 
you know, 20 something. It'd be super fun to go with your friends. Like I could see, you know, having fun with that, you know, when I was in college and stuff. Yes, exactly. Once you hit it once, then you're good and, and you're fine. Yeah, we ended up uh, going in for, for eating. We end, Wait, why am I doing that tree? I didn't mean to. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do blush pink from the Derwent Color Soft. Um, after we left the Alamo, we, we passed, you know, the ice cream place and we were headed there and we knew that we needed to eat. We had like a really early dinner at like four o'clock and then we just did, you know, like snacks and everything after that. But we did, uh, I just went to like Johnny Rockets and it was like in this sort of mall area, which is where we saw the Legoland. So we walked around there. Um, but uh, it was nice because they had gluten-free buns there. Cause I was just like, well, I know we need to just go get the kids some food and, uh, you know, recharge a little bit. Everyone was getting a little hangry. Um, and so I was like, let's just go somewhere. And I assumed that I was just going to need to like eat a salad or something, you know, cause gluten-free, it's hard to find gluten-free places, especially if you can't do your research beforehand. Um, but we went and it was this place called Johnny Rockets and they had gluten-free options for buns. I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. Ah, uh, thanks, Sheila. Research it before you go back to see what shops, restaurants you want to. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and Kara, I think that was one of the big mistakes that we made was just because we're like, well, because we didn't even know where we could go because our reception, for whatever reason, was not picking up. And so we didn't know where to go to check out like the, um, you know, the boat tours. And we're like, okay, well, how much is it? Because like, 20 bucks a pop per person. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not going to drop, you know, close to a hundred bucks to ride on a boat and listen to a history tour. I'm probably not all that interested in. So I think that's something we'll need to plan for and save for and, you know, plan ahead. <laughs> so much. Suzanne. Hello, Suzanne. How are you? It's cool. I was just telling him about, oh my gosh, Vicky. Yes. We looked and I was just like, cause the kids were like, oh, the, the river, you know, like the river's so pretty. And I looked at, I'm like, that's, that's brown water. <laughs> don't, don't want to fall on that one. Because all along the sidewalk, there's not like a railing or anything to protect you from falling in the river. You just got to be, you know, not stupid. <laughs> so Steve and I were like, all right, kids. Whatever side the river's on, you're not walking on that side. So we'd switch and everything, but you better believe I did not let go of their hands like at all as we were walking through. One, it was so, so crowded, but two, they're, they're first of all, they're my children. So, you know, let's see, Basil. So you know that there's gonna be a certain level of clumsiness that's gonna go hand in hand. So you take that with, we've literally been walking for like eight hours and they're tired and probably a little clumsy and whatever. we're like, all right, we are not, <laughs> oh my gosh, right, Vicky? It's like, we are not having, we always bring a towel as an emergency whenever we go on any kind of like long day trip. You just, you never know when you're gonna need a towel, right? And so I was just like, uh, yeah, we're, we're not going swimming in this, in this river because I don't know what we're gonna catch. There were people though that were taking like, they must have been private tours of the river because like in the boat, I don't even know if you'd call it a boat. It looked more like a, like a tiny barge, like, cause it was flat and there were just like these fences on the side of it. And then of course there was the guy giving the tours, but these people had like this whole fine dining experiment, not experiment, experience on the boat. Like they had like this table with a white tablecloth and like charcuterie boards. And I'm like, who charcuteries on a river? <laughs> they seem to be happy. There was wine everywhere. So I was just like, boat, wine, open brown water. Not so sure. Uh, we went to San Antonio, Suzanne. We went, uh, we took the kids to San Antonio uh, yesterday and took them to the zoo and this river walk experience. <laughs> Right, Vicky? I don't know. When I think charcuterie, I don't think mm, brown water that probably will give me some sort of hepatitis. <laughs> like, let's just let's just not step off into this, okay? Right? No. And I just like, I was just like, you know, I was thinking like, maybe if it's just a couple bucks and we go hop on the boat and just take a boat ride down the river and see everything, that would be cool. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. For these leaves, I want to do purple. However, 
for the ink tents that I have, I do not have purple. So <laughs> I know, right, Suzanne? So I think we're gonna do fuchsia and sea blue and we're going to make a purple. It was a good experience. We just tried, right? Well, and it was a big group. So I don't know if it was some sort of like work trip or something. All I know is I was just like, whew, all right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a light layer of fuchsia and a light layer of sea blue. So, all of that aside, it was a wonder, it was a fun trip, it was good to get out. We are all officially spring break and we will recover from that one uh, trip for the rest of the week. Have you tried the Tim Holtz Distress Crayons or Woodless Water? I have not. I tried their, uh, his inks, the Distress inks, but I have not tried the pencils. I haven't heard anything bad about them though. Um, okay, so that was our day yesterday, completely insane. So you guys are caught up on what's going on with me. Painting, uh, zoo, gross brown water, no boats. <laughs> but for the rest of the week, so obviously we have our normal live stream on Friday. I don't know yet what we're gonna do for it. However, if you missed my announcement or didn't see it, let's see, oh, hi, Linda, uh, Saturday. I am streaming Saturday, 10 a.m. my time. So this same time for the stream, um, it'll be 10 a.m. my time. And then Renee is gonna be on uh, after me for her regular stream. But um, Saturday is gonna be a special stream. We are actually doing a charity stream. If you wanna read all the details, I have the stream scheduled already. You can go look in the description. But the short story is, there is a group of women um, in a small village in Mexico who are, um, what is extra? Oh, that's an, I was like, what is this extra line? But I realized those are two different leaves. Um, they are at a rehabilitation center. Now the average wage in Mexico is about $25 a day. Um, so needless to say, you know, luxuries like coloring books and pencils and stuff um, are not high on the priority list of purchases. Anyway, these women are there and they're working really hard and they just don't have a whole lot else to do where they're at. And so what we thought it would be a good idea is part of a, kind of a whole small victories campaign in the sense of, you know, having their own little personal small victories. Uh, my connection there is actually my mother. She volunteers there and they usually have these weekly meetings um, for these women. And we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if, cause it's not a ton of women, it's a smaller group. And we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if these women knew that there were other women and, and, you know, and men, and of course, you know, an entire group of people that don't even know them, but are, you know, rooting for them to just do really well there, you know, just make it out of there doing it, you know, doing everything that they need to be doing um, by sending them. The plan is, the plan is we are going to get each of them a copy of small victories, their own sets of colored pencils, and obviously sharpeners, because they're gonna need to sharpen it. And then they will be delivered down there uh, to them. So anyway, that is, again, the <laughs> the wording is so much better on the live stream, because I had Steve double check it, because for charity streams especially, you gotta be really careful how you're phrasing things. But that is the basic consensus of what it's uh, what it's going to be and what we're going to be doing for that. So it's not like a it's not a huge amount. Like we're not we're not necessarily doing you know like thousands by any means. But I think um, if I remember correctly, our goal is going to be like 300. But here's the thing: it's not just going to be a regular live stream either. There's going now. Obviously, you guys know that I don't do like exclusive content. Like no, it's okay. That's okay. You can always watch it back. Um, I, I don't tend to do like exclusive exclusive content in the sense that like, oh, well, you can only see these streams if you're members or whatever. I, I don't I don't like doing that. I wanna make sure it's something everybody can get to. However, since Saturday is a charity stream and we're hoping to raise enough to be able to get these women, um, you know, these, these supplies and everything, uh, I am gonna be doing uh, redemptions for like incentives, like if you donate $5, then you get to do, you know, something else. But basically, it's gonna be fun things. Like whatever we're working on, whatever we're working on, we are going to be, um, you know, like uh, for, you know, donate for $5, like I have to stop using whatever I'm using and grab a different color. Or like I've suddenly got to switch mediums. I'm still coming up with the list. 
but basically there's going to be an interaction level with certain levels of donations will you know affect the stream so you guys will be able to kind of control what goes on in the stream i don't know i yeah i, I plan to go for about two hours and we'll see we'll see you know how we get to um obviously even if we don't reach the goal any little bit is going to uh help going forward trying to you know finish this project for them so of course yeah and the link for the donations are the link is going to go live uh on that day and then i'll leave the link available for it probably for the entire day so even if you're not there for the live we're going to have a little ticker uh on the stream that says what our goal is and you know as it's being met and everything and then yeah it'll 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 go up there and then you can donate through it because it's not going to be through super chats. I'm not, I don't want you guys to do super chats because the difference is YouTube and wherever you super chat from, they take a big chunk of it. And I want the bulk of these donations to be able to go directly to the women's. Yeah. During the live. Uh, she's, she's been resting. She's been resting. Hi, Marilyn. So there's going to be a specific link that you guys will uh, will go to because it also it's also easier. One, we won't have to deal with uh, YouTube uh, taking any cut of it and we can send 100% of the proceeds uh, to the women. And two, for the, like for Super Chats, I would have to wait until it like added on to like my paycheck or whatever. And it's like, that's not really how, uh, that's not really our goal. I want to be able, whatever is donated to the women, I want it to go directly to the women. And then let's say for some reason it goes nuts and we go over anything that's over what our goal is will go towards supporting the women, whatever extras they need for whatever else. So it's all going to go towards them. And I think it's going to be super fun. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I'm actually going to do, going to do PayPal for it. It'll just go directly through and then it's going to go through a special fund to get to the women because we need to make sure that everything is going directly to them. Like it's not just going to, you know, a director at the facility or anything like it's, it's going to go through all of this official stuff and there'll be ledgers and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a big thing and I'm really nervous, but I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be fun for everyone. It's going to be great. Like, again, I've never done, I've never done a charity stream before, but if it goes well, if it goes well, we could do really good. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Well, see, so the, I forget what the number is, but it's good. It's not like a huge amount. So like each of the small victories books. And again, I, I have the, the numbers all down because we did the math about how many that we're going to need. So we're doing a Stedler set of pencils because a lot of these, uh, a lot of these women, you know, they've never had color pencils before. The reason that we thought of it is because when my mother was there before, she had brought some notebooks for these ladies, like just, just your standard, like notebook you would, you know, that's 50 cents from, from Walmart. And they're like, you know, it's not even like a full size notebook. It was like only this big. And they each had like their own pen or pencil and they were over the moon. And so my mom and I were talking and I was just like, what if we got them their own, like, you know, their own coloring stuff, their own. I was just like, I could tie that in with what we're doing. And it just seemed, I don't know, it just seemed a good way to directly help these women. I know like, obviously you, you, you know, you can donate when you, you are checking out and everything, but a lot of, not that you shouldn't give donations to other places, you absolutely should. But I love that we had this connection with the women and we know exactly where it's going to. We know exactly who it's going to, and we can see the results to make, you know, and we know that everything is going exactly where it needs to go. Anyway. Like I said, I'm really nervous about it. Probably more nervous than any other live stream I've done. But I was just like, we could dip our toe in. We could do this for them. And if it goes well, maybe we can do something like that again in the future. Yeah, I'll have to check out with them. <laughs> right, Renee? Aw, thanks, Vicky. I was just, like I said, I'm like, we're going to start out small. We're just, you know, because obviously there's always more that we can do for these women. I was like, let's just test the waters. We'll start out small because they're at this facility, you know, they are, you know, they are, it's not like they, they, they aren't fed or housed or clothed. They are. So right now their biggest concern is, you know, getting the day to day, you know, getting through everything that they need to, to get, you know, they're, they're in recovery right now. So it's just, it's something simple. It's, it's gonna get directly to the women. And I'm just like, this this could be something good. So I'm excited, but I'm nervous, but yeah. 
<laughs> exactly, Vicky. It's just like that, that little thing. Like even just imagine if you were just like walking around and somebody just came up, gave you a set of colored stuff, and said, I just want you to have this no strings attached, you would be like, first of all, you'd be like, well, what's the catch? <laughs> and second of all, like, how touched would you be? So like, it may seem small, but I think for these women, it's going to mean a lot. Exactly, Emma, exactly. Yeah, because I think there's a lot of logistics too, because I'll need to make sure to specify that, you know, yes, the channel brought in income, but this specific one was for donations. So like I said, there's going to be ledgers and logistics that will all go on behind the scenes. But as far as this is concerned, we are just going to be, you know, raising to bring a little bit of light into these women's lives. Know that there are people, you know, all over the world that are rooting for them. And I think it may give them the encouragement they need to get, you know, to this new part in their lives. Yeah, iron, iron out the blitz. Exactly, exactly. So anyway, needless to say, this last week has been crazy, which I think is one of the reasons why I started the painting. It was just nice to kind of listen to the audiobook and and zone out and just, you know, just, I don't know, paint. It's been so long since I've done a painting like that, and I was surprised how well the, the painting techniques translated across you know like all of the all of the coloring we've been doing wait why are you staying up so late oh doing a special stream at 1 a.m for my time to oh goodness hang on one second wait did i did i miss the announcement for that what's the special stream that you're doing which i gotta tell you was another reason i was telling uh, <laughs> i was telling steve i was like I need to work out all of these blips with whatever is going on with my stream. Like I cannot be losing electricity during this. I <laughs> can't be dropping frames. Like this all needs to be squared away. So I am so pleased and so excited. Today is going so well. Knock on wood. I have to stay Wait, Mona. Wait, did I miss some announcement? Is there like a, um, 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 a colorathon? Did I, I clearly been out more out of touch than I thought. Thanks, Dawn. What, what did I miss? As it is, like I'm trying to catch up on streams. I was watching Claire's today. Cause like I said, we were in the middle of San Antonio chaos yesterday. So I was not uh, online for any streams at all yesterday. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes more sense. Okay, I was just like, how did I miss an entire colorathon? <laughs> okay, yeah, I get that now. All right. <laughs> just like, usually I hear something about it, but I was going to feel bad if I was that out of touch that I missed an entire, like, <laughs> huge thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and dry this real quick. But yeah, so I don't know what we'll do on Friday. We'll do something new. Let's see, I think we could start a Kirby page. Okay, good. Like, I can't see them all, but my gosh, did I miss a giant announcement? So right now I have this pink that's peeking through the branches, but I think to make this work, we're gonna put some of that background uh, in black. Is my coffee gone yet? No, I still have more, yay. So yeah, thankfully Steve did all the driving while we were out and about yesterday. So I did not have to stress too much about doing any of that, which was nice. I don't mind driving, I like it, but highway driving, and I swear those multi-lane highways, those lanes are getting narrower and narrower. And I'm just like, uh -uh. I'm too nervous. <laughs> I want to drive. Okay, so we are working on purple. So we did kind of a pink and blue to make our purple undercoat. Now we're going to go through with royal purple from Colorsoft. We're going to add in a little bit more. <laughs> right, Vicky? Yeah, it was really nice not to have to stop. Uh, but there's always, um, if you are in Texas or familiar with Texas, there is a massive uh, rest stop chain, so to speak, that is just like the ultimate rest stop, rest stops of all rest stops. It's called Bucky's, but I'm not gonna lie, when I first moved here, I pronounced it Bucy's because it's spelled B-U-C-C-E-E-S. Oh, Callie, absolutely. <laughs> right, Josephine? Exactly. 
uh, but it's called Bucky's. And like, it is literally, they have the nicest bathrooms of any rest stop ever. Melissa, hello. Right, Vicky? Um, okay, so I know that this isn't a thing in the UK because I was shocked that it wasn't a thing and also like really impressed. But if you've been to any kind of rest stop in the US, most of the time, or really any restroom stall, you know how we always have like those gaps in the stalls? Even Target is like that. It's always like so weird. Like it's a gap in the door. Like why would they do this? Why? Why are we risking the fact that someone's gonna be able to accidentally peek in on us while we're doing our business? You know, but Bucky's is right, Leslie. Exactly. Uh, Bucky's is they've got full closed doors where everything is sealed. Yes, Britt, exactly. Why the gaps? Um, fully closed doors, no gaps at all. They're so clean, so clean. And like, there's so many stalls, there's never a line, but people will go to Bucky's like just for the food. Like, Imagine a Circle K, but for like the queen. <laughs> Circle K for the queen. Like it is, it's so nice. And they've got like so many, they've even got a mascot. Like he's Bucky the Beaver and he will walk around the store. <laughs> nice, Melissa. But Bucky's is like, yeah, if you if you live in Texas and you haven't gone to a Bucky's, like literally, people are like, where where have you been? Why have you why have you never been to a Bucky's? Like, what what's wrong with <laughs> you? So Bucky's is like a rite of passage if you live in Texas. So we definitely swung by there yesterday, but yeah. I know earlier, I don't know if it was Vicky or Britt who said like the kids probably fell asleep on the way home. I'll be honest, I was surprised that they didn't. I think they were just like exhaustion shock is that a thing i don't know we clearly tried to do way too much yesterday we probably should have stopped after the alamo because really the alamo wasn't too bad there really there really wasn't a lot to see except the building which was kind of cool cali a little bit a little bit yeah so um we have officially decided we are not planning on doing aside from you know the streaming and stuff i'm doing this week we you know might unpack a little bit but as far as going anywhere Absolutely not. We are gonna veg, we are gonna recuperate. Like, yeah, there were so many people at that zoo, it was so many. It was nice, hi, Miss Southerbell, welcome. But, you know, I'm glad that we went, we checked out the zoo, the kids definitely felt like they did something this spring break, but now we all need to like. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna color, uh, I'm gonna color Small Victories since those are the books that we're gonna be donating. Um, we're gonna do Small Victories. And so I'm trying to make a list of all of the incentives that we'll do. So there will be like, um, you know, certain donations will make it so that I can't use a certain pencil anymore or a marker or whatever else. We're gonna have one that'll be like change mediums or like I have to clear the desk and clear, well, maybe we may use, end up using paint or, or I'm, I can't say what specific kind of pencil we'll do because honestly, we'll probably be using all of them. It is gonna be so much chaos, but so much fun. So I'm gonna have like markers and paints and pastels all within reach. And so we'll have things where it's just like, okay, you have to stop what you're doing and change mediums or everything that's on your desk, you have to clear and you have to start over and grab some, well, not start over a page. Cause I don't think we'll start over a page. Um, but you know, you have to start completely over with, you know, whatever pencils or markers or, or whatever else. So it, you're, the chat itself is going to be able to, uh, affect, <laughs> affect what happens on the stream. And honestly, if that goes well, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how could I do that without it being, cause it seems like a still a fun stream as it is what we could do if we wanted to do something, you know, fun like that again without, you know, doing the donations, maybe we could like set a timer and be like, every time the timer goes off, like we restart it. <laughs> right, Vicky? Oh my gosh. We have a box over here for Steve's office stuff that he hasn't unpacked yet. Annie was doing her best to like get in the box and I'm just looking at her like, you know, I made you your own cubby, right? Like it's got curtains. <laughs> And everything like, hello, I made it for you. And she's like, no, no, I wanna, I wanna get in the trash. It's like, oh, thanks, cat. <laughs> there 
Thanks, Callie. What does it say? Oh, it's too open? I know. I know it. Like, and I need to like take down the curtains. I don't know. She's just, she's hilarious. She's like, I would rather play with the trash, please. Can you, can you get me more trash? <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Ooh, a heating pad. Like, I could make, like, something flat so it's not, like, electrical in there with her. But you know how you can, like, heat up rice in the microwave for a heating pad? I could make, like, a flat heating pad for her, pop it in the microwave, and then let her go sit on that. And then that way, you know, like I said, it's not electrical or anything. It's just warm rice. That could be fun. Speaking of rice, those of you that are on the talk tick, at all. Have you seen this massive trend going around about um, making your own cereal? So I guess, and, and I'm like out of touch, like I have no clue. I have children. We like Cheerios. We're not not going to eat Cheerios. Hang on one sec. Sorry, my throat's a little rough from everything we did yesterday. Um, but anyway, I guess at some point Kellogg's made some sort of campaign that basically said, oh, we're, you know, low income or whatever else. Basically, you know, everything's expensive right now. Basically, they made a campaign to suggest, hey, if you're broke, you should probably just have cereal for dinner. Ta da, look, cereal. <laughs> yeah, see, there. what is talk tick? Tick tock. What do you have against you? I don't. I love Cheerios. That's what I'm saying. I guess the point is Kellogg's made some sort of campaign that just basically said, hey, everybody's broke. You should have cereal for dinner. And everybody was like really put off about that. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just like hearing this all secondhand. And so I guess the thing is people are boycotting, boycotting Kellogg's. And so I'm like, all right, that's cool. But I like cereal. Uh, <laughs> so I guess the, the difference is now people are sharing recipes of how to make their favorite cereals. <laughs> right, Britt? There's one that I that I eat right now. It's a gluten-free one. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I only post, like, repost my Instagrams to TikTok, and then I get sucked into it. Yeah, they're boycotting catalogs. Anyway, so now there's all these recipes going around about how to make your own... I'm not going to lie. The cornflakes one, I kind of want to try it, because cornflakes are not gluten-free. I could make them gluten-free with this recipe. And then I guess people are making Rice Krispie ones, which... There are some recipes of Rice Krispies that are gluten-free, but traditionally the normal Rice Krispies are not gluten-free. So, hang on, last little sip of coffee. So I guess what people are doing is they're parboiling rice. Do it and let us know, right? I, know, I need to get like some corn flour. Kitchen stream, oh my gosh. I do have a decent kitchen, we could do that. That would be fun. <laughs> So I'm realizing, like, I'm looking, but, like, you guys, I need to, like, leave this up when I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> but uh, I guess what it is, is uh, you parboil rice, and then, so it's not, like, super soft all the way through. All right, we're going to do uh, black here. It's not super soft all the way through. And um, then what they're doing is they're, like, deep frying the parboiled rice, and it's puffing it up. I saw that just briefly yesterday. I didn't do too much research on it because it sounds like whatever he did was hor was horrible and I didn't feel like being weighed down with that. I'm like, okay, well, that's a thing. I just, I looked up his name to make sure that none of my audiobooks had it and I'm good. So I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore this one. Um, but anyway, so you, uh, you, you parboil rice and then you deep fry it and it kind of puffs up. Then you like lay it out on a sheet and then you uh, like, bake it or something to dry it out anyway people are swearing well yeah that's why i double checked and i was just like mm, i have a few of those books people are swearing that it tastes like rice krispies i wouldn't be mad about it honestly the only reason that i'm sticking with posting on it is because um after you hit ten thousand, then your videos can be monetized but um Honestly, oh, and if you guys want an update for the whole uh, Instagram Reels bonuses, very strong quotations, okay? Very, very strong quotations because I forget to look, but I think I have done, uh, I don't remember his name. <laughs> yeah, probably. 
Oh, absolutely it does, Britt, absolutely. But seeing it from a perspective of, hey, I can, if this cereal's just as good, I could, yeah, it's something or other, exactly. I'm like, I could make this all gluten-free. So cereals I don't normally get to eat, I can make gluten-free. I'm just using black, by the way, and I'm upping the contrast. I know it seems really bright. I also have the window open, so that's why it's getting a little bit brighter, a little darker there. It's like, I can make it gluten-free. Um, so yeah, I mentioned to you guys that Instagram invited me to that whole Reels bonuses program. I was really excited about it. Uh, oh yeah, we're calling Maria Troll, yes. Oh, no, no, she's talking about the, um, the, the controversy on, on, on TikTok. Um, anyway, so I got the invite from Instagram to do the reels bonuses, which the way that it works is you have in a certain month space, uh, period, you have a time to post content and then, um, based on the amount of views, you can work towards a bonus. So for me to do, to get whatever bonus, ah, uh, thanks Shannon. Uh, to get whatever bonus was in there, I had to do $25 worth of revenue from these bonus views, whatever it is. Here's the thing though. They don't tell you like how many, like how, how much you will earn per view, right? They don't tell you how much you will earn per view. They don't tell you, they, they don't tell you anything. So basically you're just guessing at how much you need to post or, or, you know, how, uh, how viral it needs to go or whatever else. So I'm not gonna lie. As I've seen the numbers, as the month has gone on, I have felt a lot less, uh, gung ho about it. And the reason being, <laughs> well, there's been a lot of layers involved. Um, but yeah, so I have posted, I've done one post, handful of reels. I wanna say I've done like nine or 10 reels plus, uh, plus a, um, a regular post, which when we're done with this, I'll post. Cause I had from like February 15th to March 15th. Okay, so let's, let's say it's been like 11, 11 posts in total. Okay, so between the reels and the posts, you guys wanna know how much I've made in bonuses since I did that and none of it's gone really, I've had a, a couple of them that got like over over 10K views, okay? Which isn't small, it's not. So you need me to add two cents, <laughs> five cents, uh, pretty much. I have made a total of $3, okay? So do the math, do the math. For, and you also have to take into account how long it takes to do these posts, okay? So you, you make these videos, you edit them, you get them up there, okay? They don't give you any rate at which you're like, okay, well, if you do this, so many views, you'll get X number of dollars. They don't, ah, uh, thanks. They don't tell you like any of that. And so it's just like, oh, how are these doing? Like, okay, that's not too bad. You know, a couple of them got over 10,000. That's kind of nice, whatever. $3. The all, all I had to do was get to 25 to get the bonus. They also don't, <laughs> they don't tell you what the bonus is. And I'm just like, $3 for how many hours? Like, what? <laughs> so, needless to say, unless you already have, oh, bye Don, thanks for being here. Unless you already have account, an account that's massive and you get like hundreds of thousands of views per video, or you go miraculously viral, those reels bonuses are not worth it. Like I even, I don't know if I can show you guys, like I had a plan, okay? I, Cause I was like, how can I, if you can see, you see that? That was my plan. I was even marking the kids marked off the days. I stopped marking the days off on the 26th. All these other X's, the kids did. I, I had made plans. I had planned out the reels and about halfway through, I was just like, Hey, that's not, gosh, I don't know why that's so dark. Light on. Anyway, I was just like, so not worth it <laughs> with how much work it is to get the, like I'll post them for myself, obviously. But the fact of the matter is I have children. I have, you know, responsibilities. I've got work stuff. I in no way am going to have time to post every day. Like I could have. I could have posted more, but for what? 
two pennies per post? Like, I was just like, all right then. Like, again, don't get me wrong. It's all on view. So if something had gone viral, like maybe, but I was just like, this is so beyond not worth it. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Instagram for, you know, thanks, but no thanks kind of deal, right? Like, I was just like, this is ridiculous. So it was a nice idea, but after a month and not a sad amount of posts, <laughs> like three donuts. Like I'm at this stage in my, let's see, I'm using magenta from Chromefloat, from my content creation, artistry, whatever, that like, I need something that is sustainable posting every day and hoping that one of them will just pop off is not sustainable. I would lose my mind if I had to post every day. Like I would not be able to do art anymore because like I would have to become a full-time content creator. And I feel like that would just take the fun out of doing the artwork. <laughs> Sounds good to Becca. I have a video that has almost 300,000 views. Excellent, right? Yeah, it went there before I got monetized. Oh no. Oh no, Shannon. Right, Allison? Exactly. So as far, I just feel like I'm working way too hard to try and get, you know, literal breadcrumbs. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep posting. I'll post at the rate I do. If I happen to get 10K, you know, get to 10K on, on TikTok. Like it's not going super fast. Where's my phone? I wanna say I'm at like 6,500 on TikTok, which is great. It's definitely grown faster, um, faster than, uh, than Instagram did. But I also, you know, didn't post super high quality. Yeah, yeah. So I'm at 6,528. So I mean, Know, maybe by the end of this year right i know like if i do okay over there like maybe i could go live or whatever else there's a lot of things i don't like about tiktok but if it can offer me um more than instagram can like i am not gonna break my back trying to get zuckerberg to you know give me a dollar <laughs> yeah so that's the other thing too is who knows how long tiktok is going to stay um where steve had worked previously excuse me um there was a region where you actually could not that he does tiktok anyway so it didn't matter to him but there the tiktok was banned on that particular um place where he was at so i really do think it's only a matter of time which is why i'm doing tiktok pretty passively I don't know. Like I have, I have, you know, income from various, you know, we've got YouTube, we've got the Etsy, um, you know, we got, we got some subscribers on, on Instagram, but even still, like, I don't know. I think YouTube's probably going to be my best bet for, for growth of any kind. Plus we just passed, uh, 19,000. So we're closing in on 20 K. I saw, where's my purple? There it is. I saw my colorful, my colorful country life. She just got 20K, was so excited for her. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like the people? <laughs> uh, see, so when it comes to the little videos, I post on Instagram most, mostly because I like their music choices. For me to post on YouTube, I need to pull together my, um, uh, uh, my music that I use on here. And I always like, it's kind of a pain finding the music. And so I will say, I probably don't post uh, as many, my music is that still on, um, as many shorts as I do on Instagram. Oh, they definitely are. It's been like two years, right? Okay, so we're using this purple and we're just trying to darken things up a little bit. Cause right now I feel like it's still, too um too light especially in comparison with like the contrast here so we're darkening up that tree quite a bit what about 11 30 already well we're gonna we're gonna finish this page today so we won't go until we finish it. um or at least where we can do like part of the frame so you can see how to do it um so yeah tiktok's definitely an afterthought if it ends up generating any income i will be thrilled and i'll be like all right cool well that worked out but 
I definitely put most of my focus on content on Instagram because that's where bulk of my um, social media audience is and then making sure that I, you know, we do the lives and, you know, keep, keep in touch with the community and everything here. I'm so excited Claire's going to be doing regular lives though. And I was thinking while I was watching Claire, I don't know if you're lurking or not or if you're going to watch this back, but Claire, I was thinking it would be fun if we did another live stream together. And Suzanne, I don't know if you're here, but we need to do another. We just need to do another group one. That's what we need to do. But we could do like a, a fun challenge one. Okay. I think we need to get some blue in here. Let's go with, do I want this one? I feel like that's not going to be dark enough. Let's do, oh wait, these ink tents need to go over here. Let me get a cough drop. My throat's a little scratchy. I know it. And I keep thinking that because I'm already monetized here. I really should post stuff. Goodness knows I have enough um, uh, uh, content to put on here. I need to just do it. Plus, I can schedule the things. Ever. I used to be able to schedule Instagram, but ever since I switched over to Android, for whatever reason, I can't do it. Let's see. Time to run it. Aaron. Oh, thanks, Yana. And happy birthday. Yeah, I'm not on it very often, but... um. Okay. <laughs> I cannot have a cough drop and talk at the same time. Right? It was so nice. Like I said, I'm about halfway through watching her stream. And it's great. I'm so glad she's doing it. Because that's what we could do. Like the challenges that we're going to do for the charity stream this weekend. I feel like it would be so fun to translate that into challenges with friends. Okay, we're going to use Indigo from Color Sock. I really want to darken this up. So we're going to do indigo on some of this back part here. We're going to press a lot harder. Definitely didn't just snap that tip because I would never do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to paint today though. I think after yesterday, I am just going to take it easy and kind of shut off my brain a little bit. I will say though, you guys, I have been so inspired for, um, for the sticker club and uh, coloring page for next month because I've been to the zoo twice in the last couple of months. Oh my gosh, I saw so many beautiful birds. Um, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she said that she's gonna do it on Tuesday. So it's Tuesday evening for her, which I'm in the US, so it's like six hours before her. But yeah, Tuesday, she said that she's gonna do it. I feel stressed about TikTok, but buy oodles and oodles from, <sighs> right? I keep seeing that. I think it's hilarious. So there was that um, Super Bowl commercial where it's like, ooh, ooh, tamu, and everybody was just like, oh my God, that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah, I have no plans to uh, order off, off uh, tamu, but uh, yeah, I think it'd be super fun if we did another group one and did, uh, you know, Belinda and I used to do those challenges all the time and they were so fun. should do that. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to start thinking about that. Maybe not today because my brain's pretty much mush, but okay. We need to go darker. I did not just throw my pencil. No one saw that. <laughs> Wait, you have a new baby elephant. Oh, love the zoo. <laughs> like Melissa, are you allowed to have a baby elephant? <laughs> I was like, hold up. <laughs> I mean, I, you got your hand full with your kiddos already. Is this the right time to take on a baby elephant? I mean, I'm not going to judge, but <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd love to know how silly you've got for a baby elephant. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you guys, my brain is, is not catching up with the rest. <laughs> oh my gosh. The otters yesterday were so cute. So cute. But yeah, I saw so many, I like the, the San Antonio Zoo had a really good display for birds. And I don't know, Ev, if you're lurking or not. I know we were talking about those peacocks and like how there's so many different breeds. I saw some other types of, they call them peafowl, you know, peahens in the peacock family. I promise YouTube it's spelled P-E-A. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, that's that's getting better. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've come to spend time with my elephant. 
Oh my gosh, it seems like there's all kinds of stuff that's going on right now. Everybody's talking about, you know, wondering what's happening to the princess or whatever, like her photos all photoshopped. Ugh, all kinds of things going on. I will say, I will say I am now on the fourth Bridgerton book. They're really not that long a book. So if you're listening to Audible, you can blow through them pretty quick. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I almost didn't finish. Isn't there like a term like DNF or something? Um, the, um, Benedict, Benedict Bridgerton book, because the first couple of chapters, pretty sure it was just a retelling of, uh, of Cinderella. And so I was just like, mm, I don't know about this, but it got better. It got better. So I was like, all right, I guess we're finishing it. So now I am starting in on the Penelope and um, Colin book. I have high hopes for it. I know that the new season of Bridgerton is coming out in May. Let's see. Elephants are my favorite. Animal. Oh, there were so many cute ones. Little Steve got a stuffed uh, armadillo only because the last, zoo, not this zoo, but the last zoo we were at had an armadillo and it was a cute thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... It's still, I still want it darker. I know this is like so much not me because we usually do um, like pastel, but no man, we're, we're adding all the color. So let's go ahead and get a little bit darker for some of this purple. Don't be afraid to push a little bit harder because we'll add a little bit of variation on these leaves when we, um, we're gonna add a little bit more magenta to them. But I'm excited to see this page all finished. I think it's gonna look cool. Just gotta think about what we wanna do for the border. Do we wanna do like something green, brown? Do we wanna do metallic? What is everybody's thoughts? Oh, how did you like it, Natalie? I felt like the fourth book was kind of like a Hallmark special. I guess she's working on uh, the next book and I think it's gonna be about Elaine. Which would be nice. They haven't really finished Elaine's story yet. I'm gonna delve too deeply on it. I'm kind of hoping that she puts uh, Elaine with Azrael, but it's just because I want a happy ending for, ha for Azrael. <laughs> okay, how am I feeling about it? I'm gonna zoom. It's always so nice when I can zoom out and kind of look at it. I think we're almost there. Almost, but not quite. Right. Yes, Lucian. I feel like we kind of got a Cassian book already, though. With I mean, I know that the that Nesta's book was about Nesta, but we learned already learned so much about Cassian. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I was at uh, I was at Rena um Sarah's. I was at Sarah's for a little bit, but but not too long. I actually ended up I was chatting with Shannon just a little bit, and then I ended up turning it off because Lil Steve. Uh, is in desperate need of a haircut. He wanted to grow his hair long, um, but finally he decided he didn't want that anymore, but we hadn't been able to um, find time yet to get him to go get his haircut. And we were, nothing. Uh, <laughs> we were headed to the zoo and he's just tired of it being in his face. So I shut it off because I was like, all right, we're gonna trim this up a little bit. I will say I do okay at making sure that it's even that it's even and that it's, you know, it's it's not all cattywampus, but I do not know how to style haircuts. I can do a basic haircut. So his hair is trimmed and it's off his neck and everything, but there is absolutely no style. I just wanted to make sure I didn't give him like a Three Stooges haircut. Um, but <laughs> but uh, I think we're still gonna need to get him into the hairstylist later this week so he can have a little bit more of a style that he wants. Yeah, I don't know, there's nothing. <laughs> I know, poor Lucian, but I feel like, I don't know, there could be another happy ending for Lucian. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do, actually, let's grab a little bit of the turquoise green from the Chroma Flow. Yeah, I think that could be fun. I tell you, it's been raining here a bunch. Everything's so green. It's nice. Okay. And in fact, that's why we did the zoo yesterday because it's supposed to storm here on Thursday and Friday. So it's just like, well, we need to do this before we're stuck inside. It really is. And I feel like that's part of the reason why. Hi, Sue. 
Okay, so we're gonna use turquoise green. I feel like that's part of the reason why I'm okay at it because I look at it as, as artwork in the sense, just because I'm shaping it, like I'm sculpting it. That's exactly what it is. So I can look and see where it needs to be cleaned up at. But as far as understanding like styles and getting the layering done and everything, I can't, I can't do that. And I mean, you know, little Steve, we all know that he's younger. Having him hold still that long while mommy takes at least four times longer than any hairstylist would because, you know, they do it for a living. I am not a hairstylist. Um, he does really good with it, but he has to sit there for so much longer because I am not proficient at it. My main goal is to make sure, you know, it doesn't look derpy. <laughs> so, you know, he's, he's a good sport when it, when it comes to it. But I was like, no, we need to get him to a professional, professional place. Let's see. Throne of Glass series. Ooh, that's good. I always cut my kids hair and my own. If I didn't, I would take them out. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah, well, and we don't really, I think we're just probably going to take him to sport clips. That's where Steve went to get his cut. Uh, I trimmed like, I mean, I know you can't see it because it's like up in a thing, but I trimmed like an inch off mine, which is why it's not staying in the scrunchie very well. Let's see. I think it's because my white shirt is messing with the, I should not wear white during stream. It messes with the white balance. Anyway, I trimmed like an inch off of it and I just have it in the scrunchie. I mean, <laughs> uh, but little Emily has really long hair. And so she let me uh, like trim an inch off of her hair just to freshen up the ends. Um, here's the thing though. Uh, most of you know that, or I don't know if you do, you'll find out now if you didn't. Um, so Steve is Korean. And uh, if you know anything about Korean genetics, they have very beautiful, um, very dark, very, very thick hair. Very, very thick, okay? So when I cut uh, little Emily or little Steve's hair, or even Steve's hair for that matter, um, the fibers. Oh, nice. But see, I, I really want to get my hair colored like a funky color, but the maintenance, like you'd have to go back and get it done again. I wish colored hair just stayed colored longer. Um, but because they have such thick hair, the tiny little hair fibers will like get caught in whatever clothes I'm wearing. And then they just like, it's, they poke you and it's impossible to get them out. Like, I don't know how I, hair, I get why they wear aprons now, but I could never be a professional hairstylist. Plus I'd be too worried about ruining it. <laughs> <clears throat> Two feet. How long is your hair? Oh my goodness. All right. We're going to do basil now on a few of these leaves, just kind of trying to mix up the texture a little bit different color leaves. Not everything's going to be the same. But yeah, so I took about an inch off of hers. Hers is about just below her shoulder blade. So it's getting nice and long. Behind your knees. Oh my gosh. Now, what is mine? Mine's like here. -ish. I don't know. Like I said, it's in the thing right now. <laughs> Got my dad's hair. I wish I got the Asian hair side. My hair has changed as I've gotten older. Uh, yeah, the kids definitely, I had to practically relearn how to do hair. Um, when little Emily was like two, her hair, that's when her hair started moving from baby fine to actually thicker. And I remember, um, you know, that was back when we gave them, you know, like tub baths or whatever, and we washed their hair and everything. First time I realized I was going to have to relearn how to do it. So I was washing her hair and everything and I got her out of the tub and you know, was drying it. And I realized she still had all of this soap in her hair. And I'm like, what is going on? And it was like her hair was practically in layers because it was so thick and there was so much of it. Like she washes her own hair and everything now, but like, I was like, holy heck. So my hair is super fine and super thin. So I had to go into it with a different mindset of just like, I'm going to need to relearn how to do hair completely because this is, this is just way different. I went out of the line there. It's not the end of the world. Top of my thighs, it was way too much work. Yeah, see during lockdown, uh, I cut everybody's hair. It didn't turn out bad, but it made me realize I don't wanna do this all the time. Like just because I'm the only one in the family with thin, fine hair and Steve and the kids all have just that beautiful, thick, dark Korean hair. And it's just, it's amazing but I don't want to cut it. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? 
Holy heck, that is so long. That is so long. Okay, we're just gonna darken this corner up just a little bit more. Like I said, we are adding a lot to these trees. I think we're almost done with this one though. And that's what this whole page has been, just like lots of layers, making the shadows stand out. Let's see, let's zoom out. Mm, getting a little bit of light glare. Eh, maybe not, maybe it's just not as, it needs to be darker. <laughs> Okay, hang on. We're gonna try to add just a little bit more. Let's grab, what is this, indigo? Oh, I think we just need to get black. Let's get the Durant drawing back. Oh, Jabus! Della, <laughs> that's not the kind of visit you want. Ugh, sorry, Della. I mean, great that they're doing it and, and you know, but also like, ugh, ugh. I'm sorry. Well, at least they weren't, you know, like coming to take you away in the paddy wagon. They still call that paddy wagon a thing. Oh, nice, Natalie. Yeah, right? That's, that's like the last thing you want to hear. All right, so we're just darkening, these, darkening this up just a little bit more. I want this to be consistent like the other ones. Okay, I like that a lot better. All right, now let's grab um, our purple. Yeah, right, at least you know, but also like, I get it. Cause that's like, uh, I don't want that to happen. But I mean, at least they're doing it. At least they're following through. Okay. Okay, you know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna use our blender. Yeah, I think it just has to do with the states and what laws there are, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just going through using the blender on this. Definitely moving that black around. So be careful about how much of that you drag back into the picture. bitty blend here. Okay. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, like if I, I'd probably fiddle with it for another hour, but for the sake of actually finishing this at some point today, Okay, we're almost done. Almost done. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay, right, blender magic, exactly. Thank you. How am I doing the frame? Honestly, I think I'm leaning towards wood. It has that kind of fairy tale feel. So I don't know that I want to do gold. Ah, uh, thanks, Carol. I don't really want to do gold, but I think we'll go ahead and we'll do um, we'll do brown, which means we need to do uh, some more ink tents here. So, make sure we got them all in here. Yes. Okay. So for our brown, we do. Let's see. That's ink black. I don't want to do black. We have bark, and we have baked earth. Hang on. Let's see. Go back here to the back. Test your pens here, perfect, okay. Because I don't wanna do it too dark and I'm afraid that the bark might be too dark. Obviously the baked earth is gonna be a little bit different. Thanks, Lucy. Okay. So let's do that and then let's do a little bit of the baked earth and the bark and see how they work with one another. <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this sharper right there. 
Okay, there is my paintbrush. Losing my mind, where did I put it? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh no, Angela! <laughs> Was it a big truck? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be, I think, too dark for what we wanna do. I think for the sake of being able to layer, let's do light to dark here. We're gonna want, oh, that's not too bad. We could do both. I just have to be careful which direction we blend in. I don't know, that bark is pretty dark. We might just do the lighter one and then layer on top with our other pencils. That'll be fine. I know we're not using uh, using our color swatch, but I wanna test a little bit. Hi, Connie, thank you for lurking, appreciate you. Okay, so we are, we're gonna stay zoomed out just a bit while we fill this in and then we'll zoom in when we do our section of the frame. We'll do like this section here because it's already like noon. It took us a while to get through those trees. Really glad I caught up on everything here. So what we'll do is we're gonna do just a section of the frame so that you know how to do it. Thanks, Angela. And then we'll do our embellishments and then we'll be done. And then I'll finish the rest of the frame uh, off stream. So for our ink tents, we're gonna use the baked earth. Okay, and we are just going to lightly, we're not pressing too hard. I don't want it to be like bright orange because it is definitely a lighter, orangier brown. Okay. And we are just going to fill it all in. Yeah, I think brown, brown is fitting for this page. Okay. But yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do. You know, I'll be honest, I thought about um, streaming, doing the Hobbit painting, but number one, that's not really something anyone can follow along with. And number two, it's been kind of just a nice project to zone out to. Maybe I'll do, a, I think, yeah, I think we'll probably do a Kirby. Because the last time we did a poll, uh, the Kirby page won pretty closely to the, well, not one, but it, it definitely was a close second next to the Maria Troll. So I think I'll do a Kirby. I just got a thing. And probably if we do a Kirby, we will most likely do watercolors as well. Okay, almost got it all filled in. So Renee, my question for you is, which square are you saving up for? The vinyl one or the stitched one? Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and get that wet real quick. Ah, uh, thanks, Allison. Definitely got that fairy tale vibe, absolutely. And if you had a water brush, you could use that too. I don't know, I've just been into using just the paint brushes lately, but that's probably because I've been painting a lot more lately. For those of you that weren't here at the beginning, did you guys want to see the painting that I'm working on when we're all done with this page? Ooh, that was probably a little bit too much water. Yeah? Okay, cool. When we're done with this, I'll, I'll pull it up. I just got it sitting here behind me. Thankfully, it's not so big that it won't fit. Uh, it won't fit in the frame. Oh, all right, we almost got it all wet. Then we'll dry it and then we can work on a corner. And we want it just as vibrant as the other. This is definitely awesome. Uh, this is definitely a page where you can practice with your backgrounds and foregrounds. Not backgrounds in the sense of, you know, a big elaborate thing you can put behind the image, but I'm talking about like where the items are in it. So obviously this stuff is in the front, so it's gonna be lighter than, you know, the stuff that's in the back. Got a little bit of green over the top, but honestly, we'll probably do a darker brown there. Okay. Almost done activating. Then we're gonna dry it and we'll add our pencil.
Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and dry this. Honestly, it feels like not Wednesday. I think it's because like it's spring break, so everybody's off at the moment. But like there's people working outside. Everybody's doing normal work things. I'd be curious to go back to the zoo on like a day where it's not spring break or not the weekend or something, you know? Ooh, yeah, I think I think this is gonna look really pretty. Okay. So let's actually just do this section instead. I think it's gonna be easier than doing it on the crease. Let's stay, stay right about here or so. All right, so we're gonna be doing brown. Let's see what we have for brown. Like I said, we're using like all of our, all of, oh, that one's kind of nice. It's a little bit of a green. Like all of our dear wet pencils here. Right, Vicki? I know it, it does not feel like we're practically already to the middle of the week. Okay, let's see if there's any browns that I have not gotten out. Let's see for a second. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we do have some browns. This one, this one. This one might be nice as well. That one's a little bit too red. Natural brown, we'll grab that. Let's see, dark brown, okay. Uh, that one's a little bit too red as well. It's a dark terracotta. No, I think we'll be okay with this. Okay. Then we have, let's see, raisin, which is definitely more of a reddish. That ink tents is going to go there. We just use the ink tents for the base. Obviously grab our blender. Okay. I think that's it for the browns. Today's your Saturday. Yay! Also, I don't know why it was a good, <laughs> I, I, I had put this shirt actually on a wish list, uh, like my personal one and my mom had surprised me with it, but I don't know why I thought white was a good idea for me. Like I am just waiting, I was <laughs> making my coffee this morning. I'm like, don't spill it on the shirt. Don't spill it on the shirt. And just now I was going to turn my pencils and kind of like just rest them on my shirt to like make them all the same length or you know <laughs> I'm like no nope it's white it's a really pretty white linen though like it's really light so I want to do like embroidery across the top anyway <laughs> all of that you know zhuzhin zhuzhin a little bit of my clothes all right so let's start with these teeny tiny little borders here so we're not using our color swatch so I think honestly, I kind of want to start with chocolate from the Derwent drawing set, right? I just got to figure out what to do for it. Okay, so we're gonna do these little borders here. I'm not gonna go super heavy. If we do it right, it may even end up looking just a little bit metallic. See, and that's why I wasn't too worried that the green had gone over because I knew we were gonna add this brown. I did go over a little bit with the ink tense, but that's okay. All right, um, let's see, let's do a little bit here. So we're just gonna do this one corner. Um, and then, you know, that way you can just multiply that times three when we're done. There we go. Okay, so that was chocolate. Uh, let's see. Now let's grab, what is this one? This is sepia red. This is red, but not a super rich brown, but we'll do a little bit of it. We're going to go over what we already did there. A little bit. Okay. Then let's grab, let's see. Let's do pale brown from the color soft. Do I have a degree? I do not. I did go to college. Um, I was a art major, business minor, um, but then I decided that I hated it, so I stopped. <laughs> so officially, no, I do not have a degree. Are there things that I learned while I was in college that I still utilize today? Yes, absolutely. But um, no, I hated it too much. <laughs> 
Uh, Steve's Steve's the learned one where we're at. My problem is like sound, you know, saying I'm going to school for art sounds super awesome, but that doesn't mean that you can only go to the art classes. <laughs> no, I hated school. I love the art part. Like if I could have just taken nothing but art classes, that would have been glorious. But then, you know, you got to do math and history and other things. <laughs> yeah, the school part. No, I hated it. The going to class, the 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 listening to stuff I really didn't care about. And I was literally just, oh, wait, where's Della going? Wait, where do, where's, where's Della? Where's Della going? Did I miss something Della said? I'm not seeing it. Right? Yes. You know, the only thing I remember from Ancient Civ, Battle of Hastings, 1066. That's all I got. That That's what I came out of there with. I definitely remembered a lot more from the art classes. Art classes, ceramic. Uh, I did like my sign language class. Right? You got a math and stuff. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all it is, Brett. Steve and I joke about it all the time. Because, like, of course, he's done all the school. He's still doing all the school, you know? But <laughs> I'm just like, all I got is Battle of Hastings, 1060. I'll tell you right now, when we did uh, schooling from home, I took care of the art stuff. If Steve had not been here to help the kids with their schooling, like, shh, would have been screwed. Right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> right? It's like, I gotta be honest, guys. Like, I know that when the kids are in school and they're learning, let's see, let's do Raisin. They're learning math and, and all the things, right? I know it's important for them to learn it. But I can't help but sit there. And of course, I'm not going to say it because I want them to do well in school. I'm sitting there looking at this. I'm like, they are never going to use this math again. Like, maybe they will if it's like for their specific field, I suppose, if they like, want to be an engineer. I, I don't know. I don't remember anything I learned as far as algebra in high school. I, in Spanish class, I can say, donde esta el baño without any correct aura. I, I will never not know where the bathroom is. But I just did not have the attention span for school. And I will say I kind of sabotaged myself because I assumed that I could do all the things. And I was working 40 hours a week, taking full-time classes. I don't even remember how many credits it was. It was too many. I had so much personal stuff going on at the time. It's honestly a wonder that I stuck around as long as I did. Like school was a nightmare and it's just not something I relish the idea of you. Like I had a friend, let's see, we're gonna use chocolate, who went to school at the same time as me. She got her degree and everything. Is she even using that degree now? No, not at all. And honestly, at this point, if you're not willing to go more than bachelor's, like at least master's, a degree hardly means anything these days. <laughs> okay, I can count money. Why do they have new math? What's wrong, right? Seriously. You can say like my hubs does so my son's answer. I'm not going to use it every time. I tell him it's got to do the sign. Exactly. Aw, oh, thanks, Britt. I probably do. Um, but you know, we're at a restaurant, right? Got to calculate the tip. I either pull out a calculator or pull out Steve. So, you know, just poke him and be like, can you math this, please? <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, Britt. The kids have asked me sometimes, like if I could go back in time and be a kid again, would I? And my hard and fast answer is absolutely not. I would not want to go back and relive my 20s. I mean, maybe if I knew, like I could go back in time, I keep myself from making certain mistakes. Absolutely. I'd be like, hey, idiot, don't do that. That's it's not a good idea, you know? But to go back and relive high school, and, and early college and, and insecure, no, no, absolutely not. No, thank you. Like you could not pay me a bajillion dollars. I will go live in a cardboard box in the middle of the mountains with, you know, no shower. If it means I don't have to go back and relive that again. <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. 
Oh, I love that, Topeka. Or art and design stuff, but I work full time in tech. No, right? Seriously, yeah. My friend, she got like a, a bachelor's in in like not language arts. Basically, like she could have been like a high school lang like English teacher, right? But she didn't even go into that field, like at all. She literally made no use of her degree. I'm just glad that I stopped at my sophomore year and didn't, you know, work up any more student loans. Like I realized early on that I was like, uh-uh, this, this is not for me. I not enjoy this in any way, shape or form. However, I do say that from a place of privilege because I know not everybody is, you know, in, in a partnership of sorts uh, that allows me to do what I want. If I was not married to Steve and us being, I wouldn't be able to do all this. I'd have to go obviously get a real job and who knows, maybe I would have regretted not finishing school or whatever else, but for the way my life has turned out, I am very glad that I realized, uh, I'm using light sienna, that I realized early on how much I just didn't enjoy or want to do college. So I can manage the house income, manage the kids, right? You're getting my school grade support, but it's definitely an emotional time. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I had so much stuff going on at the time. I, I will say though, I did get to be photo editor um, of a newspaper and that was a really cool experience. And you know, maybe if I had been with a different crowd or realized early on what I wanted to do with my life rather than just like, can I just have some fun now? Like, can I just only take art classes? Like I just, there was so much more happening than just the fact that I did not like school. All right, we're getting there. But not, not yet. It's still kind of a mess. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad that I figured it out early on. Okay, so now we're going to do Natural Brown from Derwent Bromo Flow. You're going to press a little bit harder. Get some of this definition in here. I like this brown. This is nice. I just took a position that has me technically not practicing my field, but I use the skills I learned from the field, so it's win. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe I would have picked up something more if I if I had continued. Because like I said, there are a lot of things that I remember being taught by my art teachers that I still use, that I still use today. <clears throat> and who knows, if I had finished, maybe there had been some, you know, opportunities that had come my way, but... It's kind of like whenever you have to make any kind of lifestyle change. Unless you are willing to put in the work to make the changes, it's going to be really hard. You have to want to want to make the changes. And I did not want to want to go to school. And just combined with everything else that was happening at the time, it was just like, yeah, th this, this is not for me. <laughs> like I said I was lucky enough to make Steve and live in a way now that I can, that I can pursue this. And who knows where all of my art stuff is going to take me. <clears throat> you know, so even five more years from now. I just keep trucking along. I'd be lying though if I had days where I was just like, what's the point? Or this is just really hard or whatever else. But it's mostly when I get started thinking too much about the algorithm, you know? All right, sepia red here. But that's usually when I tell myself I need to take a bit of a social media break because I'm comparing. <laughs> I'm comparing too much. <clears throat> Aw, thanks, Lucy. Okay. So basically, I'm just taking a bunch of my browns and making sure that I have the contrast in here. Exactly. And it's just like, I could bend over backwards to try and post so frequently, but I have to like think to what is my goal? Do I want my account to take off because I've become a content creator or do I want my account to take off because people appreciate, you know, the artwork or the reason that I'm here kind of thing. And I would rather all of it take off because of what I'm creating and less of the fact that I'm just spamming the world with my content. Because I feel like if I were trying so hard to get stuff out like constantly, 
I feel like the quality of what I put out, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want it to seem forced. And I'm afraid I would lose quality if I tried too hard. Okay, so right now there's not a ton of contrast here, but now we're gonna bring in our black. And I think I want to use, we have the Chromaflow black, but I might use the DeWitt Drawing Black instead. And people get more education, we can pretty much learn anything online. How are we doing different? I have instructors who build. Ah, uh, yes, also true, also true. Yeah, you can learn a lot of stuff. You can learn a lot of stuff um, online. Now there are, I suppose, depends on the career that you want. There are careers where you absolutely need a degree to go anywhere within your career. But like, I don't know, when I was a kid, this is what you did. You know, you, you were careful. You didn't, you know, <laughs> you didn't get, you're not supposed to get pregnant in high school. You don't get married right away. You go to college, get a job, get married, have a house, have some kids. That was the formula in which we were encouraged to live our lives. And so not going to college after high school, like that was considered a failure. Like you needed to, you needed to do it. But with like the kids now, especially with see the way uh, the world is changing. You know, obviously we've had conversations with the kids and honestly, if they have a life plan that doesn't include going to school, that's not something we're gonna force them into. Cause let's be honest, the majority of the kids, at least just from my school, we could not afford going to school. So what did we do? We took out school loans. That was just what everybody did. And now where are we at? Still paying off our school loans, you know? <laughs> my sister, right, I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Aw, oh, thanks, Tracy. Aw, oh, thank you, Lucy. Yeah, and so that's that's what I, you know, I, I want people to come back because they either, you know, enjoy being in the community or they like seeing what I have. Because I think if I pushed myself to put stuff out every day, then it would become more about content creation and less about the art. And I find like, I, I find that I make worse art if I'm forcing it. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. People will, people that enjoy this niche will find me and we'll go from there. Getting married and being eternally pregnant. Girls didn't have, right? I know it. I know because I've been listening to the Bridgerton like whole thing and that's their whole thing. It's like, I get married. All right, that was light Sienna. We're gonna go back to sepia red. Tracy, thank you. Get some hypes in chat for Tracy. Welcome to the colorist package. You now have access to all of these handy dandy emotes that you can use during a live stream. I'm gonna click them all, I swear. Just clicking, hang on. <laughs> There's so many. Exactly, Renee, exactly. And uh, if you check out the community tab, uh, um, you can do it now or after the live stream, there is a free coloring page. Um, there's a link available to that in the community tab and there is a free coloring page every month. Wanted to be in the military, she joined at 17 and recently finished her time. Exactly. I feel like I've seen that. That's Julia Roberts, isn't it? Yeah, see, there's a lot of military, uh, a lot of military in, in my family. So none of my siblings, have college degrees. We're all kind of self-made. We're all our, we are all our own bosses in various, in various fields. So we've made it work. We've made it work, but yeah, I just did not like school, but you know, then here we are with Steve where he has put in that work and he's, um, you know, he's working on his PhD. Oh, that's awesome. As you should be. Okay, so I'm just softening the edges of the black just a little bit. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing for the entire frame. So I guess the point of all that was to say, like if my kids decide that college isn't what they wanna do, I am not going to force them to go to college. We'll figure out a career path they want to do. So like, especially this area where we have a lot of this darker brown, that's going to go across the whole thing. And we may even lighten it in some areas because it almost looks, because we've got this lighter part here, it almost looks like it could be kind of a brass or a gold or, or something. But yeah, so I'm pretty 
pleased with that. I think once we finish the border, it's going to look great. Hi, Katrina. Oh, nice, Renee. So yeah, I'll finish the border on my own. Let's do uh, some embellishments real quick, and then we will do our words on screen. But first things first. We're going to get our sticky note here and make sure we've got some white that is working. Thank you. Shake this up real good. Let's see. I need to go through and find out which ones still have stuff and which ones don't. Yeah, see, it's kind of coming out the top, but not the tip. So we're going to find one that works. It's been a while since I've used any of my white ones. Mm, that one's good. I need to shake it up a little bit more. Ooh, is Renee doing Audible too? There we go. Okay. We got one that works, folks. Okay, let's zoom on in. Okay, so I grew up in an area where a few women went to college unless they were working for teaching, nursing, or secretary. You were an old maid if you weren't married by 25. <laughs> right, I know. Uh, with Penelope's book, it's just like, oh, she's a spinster. And she's like 23. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, it's exactly it, Emma. I got like a 12 pack. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to start probably left to right. Hang on, we need to prime this just a little bit, a little, little bit more. Let me shake it just a little bit more. The only thing with them is you're gonna shake them really good. Sounds good, Britt. Thank you for being here. Okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. I'm just, you know, trying not to make it look like snow. I might be failing. Could be a little snowish. Oh well. We're just we're just giving it some twinkle. Obviously, in the lighter parts, it's not gonna show up quite as much. It'll pop a little bit more in the background areas. Some down here. <clears throat> Go there. We might actually, do I like it in between? <clears throat> Gosh, my throat. I'm telling you, it's everything we were doing yesterday. Drink lots of water today. Yeah, you know, we'll just keep adding a few in here. Maybe it's just like within the tree itself. Why not? It's pretty much a magical place with a pink sky anyway. Yeah, I like that actually. Not even that it's stars, but that there's like twinkles within the tree. I'll look up in chat here in just a bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. Thanks, Natalie. Yeah, it's like magic dusting, exactly. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my goodness. All right, let's scroll in. Let me get some water here. Mm-hmm, exactly. Um, it is the Arteza acrylic marker. It is, which one? <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my goodness. It has different sizes, but yeah, it's just the white acrylic marker. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. Uh, let's see, hang on, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna mute a second. Yeah, I know, right? With everything going on yesterday, I'm surprised I'm not more kind of blech. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a gold. Is this what we got? 
Yes. Okay, we got a gold. And I want to do a pink also. Where are all of my pens? We arranged everything. The glitter gel pens, the smoochie. Why can I not find my label? <clears throat> I'm just looking for my sparkle pop one. <sighs> it's like I've got them all here in drawers, but. <clears throat> um, like even, I have got like stuff everywhere. Why am I not finding it? Gel pens, sparkle pop, triplets. <clears throat> okay. like markers. Am I just blind? Why am I not seeing it? Pen touch pens. Sleechy. Oh, dual palette. And go figure they're not in there. <laughs> I'm a mess. I just want to do some pink. Purple. I could end up doing the purple. That could I think more like blue sparkly. It's like I was cleaning up, put them in a cup, and then never put them away. Like that's that's what I'm feeling it is. I know this is like a super delay. I'm sorry. I have these drawers, but for whatever reason I didn't put them away last time. Hang on one second. Wait, what's an understatement? I missed it. <laughs> I probably said something. Oh, there it is. I found it. It was right. Put it in a cup. It was just on the other shelf. See, ta-da! Because I'm just so organized. <laughs> hey, rude. The white deco color. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. That's what we were going for. Let's see. These ones, silver. Gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Da, 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 da. Okay, that'll work. All right, let's go ahead and. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to use. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that one. Yeah, trying to fit an entire city in one day, not one of my smarter moves. I, uh, I, I could have thought that one through just, just, just a teeny bit more. Okay, um, I'm gonna use, it's not jumping out quite as much. We're gonna use the Sparkle Pop. Oh, thanks Renee. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so we're gonna use, this gold is probably gonna pop better on things that are darker, but I definitely wanted to have some sparkle on this page because it just seemed it seemed fitting you know all right let's do before I spring it across let's do uh there we go yeah see that's coming out that's coming out pinky really really you know come on oh hang on that's what happens when like you're painting and not coloring all the time okay, hang on we're gonna I'm gonna get this to work real quick. There we go. We're back together now. Yes, Emily, take apart a pen on live and then try to use your shaky hands to put it back together. That's that's a smart move. There we go, that's better. All right. But we're just doing Sparkles, because we love sparkles. Oh, and I'm wearing white. That's a good point. All right, from now on, I'm showing up to stream with an apron. <laughs> oh my gosh, just wrap me in bubble wrap, guys. Just wrap me in bubble wrap. That's all I can say. Okay, so we're gonna put a few more pink. And we might add some white too. 
Why did I think doing art wearing <laughs> white was a good idea? Oh, these ones, these are Pentel. Yes, these are the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. Uh, these are the Pentel Spark. I love Pentel brand um, gel pens. They're flipping glorious. All right. Oh, these could probably use a little bit of gold. Well, if it would work. Oh my gosh. Gel pens are, are having a day. They they apparently went to San Antonio with us. So what have I learned? We don't try and squeeze visiting an entire city into one day with small people. <laughs> Actually, I am amazed. They did absolutely wonderfully during that whole thing. I probably complained more than they did. <laughs> I know, right, Vicky? I'm tempting fate, seriously. Here, a little bit of pink on her dress and her hair. All right, let's get some white. They really were, they really were. By the end of the day, they didn't want me holding their hand anymore, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I took my kids to downtown San Antonio. Like, I am not letting go of their hands. One, what if they dart away? But two, there are a lot of people down there. And just outside the river work, the river work, just outside the river walk is the main part of downtown city. And it was getting to be later in the evening. And uh, there were some questionable, <gasps> questionable sights and smells uh, that one can experience down there. So needless to say, I did not let go of my child's hand the entire time. And despite their squirming, I said, absolutely not. <laughs> there is no way I am walking in downtown San Antonio without holding your hand. <clears throat> like, no. You will officially be attached to me for the remainder of our walk. <laughs> Which is why, again, if we go down and do the river walk, I want to do it earlier in the day. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, no, I absolutely would not walk down there without holding my children's hands. Okay. I think that's good for sparkle. Thank you. All right, we're getting a little bit of light glare off. Let's turn it down. Is it really? I don't know. That was the first time we'd been there. Look at that. Ugly sticking up. Okay. So, aside from, um, aside from, well, I like their sparkle pop. Aside from finishing the frame, I think it's all done. That's pretty magical, right? I could jump in that fairy tale. I officially name her Brigida. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. Okay, so we're gonna do words on stream. We're gonna do words on stream, but um, so before you guys go, reminders, okay? We'll have normal stream on Friday, but most importantly, Saturday, 10 a.m., same time as this stream, we're gonna be doing the charity stream. So if that's something you're interested in, um, it's already scheduled so you can turn on your notifications or, or reminder for it or whatever else. Ah, uh, thanks guys. All right. So while I get words on stream up, feel free to check your points. Actually, Renee, now that we're at the end of the stream, I wonder what you're up to. Let's see. We're going to refresh. <gasps> Renee, you are at 3,175. Oh, the painting. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so if you guys missed it, I was posting a few sneak peeks on Instagram. Ta -da! It's a little bit brighter, but I'll post more pictures of it. So this is the base coat for the bench. Uh, I did kind of a fancier bench because I thought I wanted fancy. So there'll be a lot more details on this, but like this section is pretty much done. So yeah, this is just on like a wood hanging panel from Hobby Lobby. It was like 40% off when I got it. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. I don't know when I'll finish it. I want to I wanna finish it in a timely fashion because I don't want to lose steam. Right? I know. That was this. The door was the first thing I did. Uh, exclamation point points. Uh, let's see. All the commands are exclamation point points, exclamation point loyalty, and exclamation point quilts. 
So that'll tell you how many points. The loyalty will take you to the store. And um, yeah, uh, Durbin, I don't know if you already did, but be sure to message me your other screen name so I can get everything added and adjusted. Right? I know, I'm excited. Okay, so let's get, holy heck, Renee, you might be ready for a square by the end of the week. That's really close. Okay, so let's see, let's pull up our words on stream. We're gonna pause the music. Okay. Get logged in. Oh, yes, absolutely, Renee. I'd love to see it. Bob is so good at printing that. Does he have a really big one or is it like a smaller one? All right, let's get the link for words on stream. Where did it go? Games, there we are. Okay, the link for that. There we go. Oh, also, that's amazing. He must have so much fun with that. There was this account that I found where they're printing all the Pokemon from like first generation Pokemon from small to really big. Oh, I love that. Okay. Is everybody ready? I'm going to turn up the sound just a little bit so you can hear the game sounds. Get your typing fingers, typing fingers ready. Here we go. Okay. No, we just got started. You're all good. Okay. Uh, oh, pigsty. There it is. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, what about uh pits? Here we go. Uh, let's see. Pigs. Pits. Um. <laughs> Want to do Ipsy, but that's a makeup company. <laughs> oh, tips. There you go. Tipsy. Ah, uh, let's see. Gits. Uh, what about yips? Yips a word? Oh no, we already got yips. Shannon got yips. Um, oh, gist. Yep. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh, pity. Yep. We have one more five-letter word. Is pigsy a word? <laughs> let's see. Oh wait, jip. Gypsy needs another Y, right? Yeah, I believe it's two Ys, not an I. Um, let's see. Gist. Um, we got pity. Let's see. A word? I don't even know. Oh, Angela, we had the right idea. I'm like, I'm just gonna start putting letters together. Who knows? Uh, we got tipsy. What about? Hmm. It, itsy. Oh yeah, like the itsy bitsy spider. No? Come on, itsy's totally a word. Oh, gyps. Nice. Well done. All right, skip three levels. Ooh, Shannon, number one. Well done. Um, okay, no hidden letters, no fake letters. Internet. Wait, isn't that like an internet company or something? Oh, that one's one. I'm not gonna say that on live though. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and then there's the other spelling of center uh, with an R E instead of an E R. And then recent. Recent is the other one. Yeah. Then recent and uh, let's see. It's gonna be another T word. Enter and <clears throat> what? T E R N. Turn. Oh no! Wait, I'm still locked out. Oh, but it worked anyway. Nice. Well done. All right, continue, Shannon. Still number one overall. Okay, so there is, I'm gonna try Peck. There is a fake letter. Okay, so we know Peck is good. We need to clear the D, the I, and the G. I feel like the G would make the most sense. Yep, okay, so it's a fake G, a fake G. Pike, oh, is Pike a word? 
No. Okay, so we have five four-letter words and one five-letter word. Mm. Didn't I do that? Maybe I was still locked out. Interesting. Well, the stream's a little sus. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dice. What about... Hmm. A pied? Pied word? Or P-I-D-E? Oh, no, Sue got pied. That's what it was. Um, let's see. Epic. Um, hmm. I guess it's going to be another I. Oh, no, Kepi. I was not on that one at all. I'm really afraid for that third D word. I, I don't know that I want to try that one. I'm really hoping it's not what I'm thinking of. Uh, let's do D-E-P-I. Is that a word? Yeah, Marilyn, I'm th I'm thinking it is too. That would be <laughs> Connie. I know that we're all thinking it, but it, we, we've already gotten the points. We're already going to get three, so I don't know that it's worth it to put the last one. So I'm I'm gonna play in his. Oh, you did it. Well, but that's it. If if um. Oh, you did. Did it go through in chat? It's funny. What about what about E P I K? <laughs> We're all just like. Ah. All right, skip three levels. We're good anyway. It wasn't necessary. <laughs> like I think I know what it, I mean. It's supposed to be family friendly, but you know. <laughs> uh let's see let's see uh rips oh wait i'm not clicked in it hang on rips there we go <clears throat> okay so trips so we need to oh i think it's yep fake h fake h so spirit well done natalie uh do we do let's see rips Trip stir, that's good. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Stir. Oh, iris. That's a good one, Sue. All right, one more four letter word and one more five letter word. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So, Trizzy, is that a word? Oh no, it wouldn't even be T, it would be something else. Be another S. Um Sprite. Oh, that's what I was gonna try. I have no idea what it means, but I was like Sprite without the E. <laughs> Ooh, Connie and Shannon, number one. Love it. Uh I see faculty straight away. Ah, yay. Okay, so hidden L fake I. <clears throat> my goodness, my throat. I can drink some tea today, that's for sure. Faulty, well done. Um, let's see. What about uh flat? <clears throat> so yeah, fake fake I, no I. Um with a hidden L. What about, what about talc? Isn't talc a word? No, but I said, oh no, no, okay, yeah, fake I. Um, okay, so we've got, oh, calf. Hmm. Flack is with a CK, I think. Yeah. Um, there's another five letter word. I'm gonna start with F, C, or A. Ooh, Lacey, the, a sill. I don't even know what that one is. All right, there's one more. Um, coughed. That's a word, right? <laughs> Co coffee. <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> Fatly? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. 
the words that this comes up with. Like, really? Like I said, I know it's it's supposed it's not, you know, words on stream isn't necessarily family friendly, but my goodness. Um, okay. What if it's shopper? Maybe it's two peas? Sure. Okay, so it's a fake P. A fake P. Let's try shores. Maybe it's a hidden S. Uh, what else could it be? Um, oh, horse. Hor yep, Shannon got it. Horse is gonna be one. Nothing smaller than five letters. Um, so fake P. Uh, what else could it be? Um, S H. Um, oh, what about horse with an A? Okay, not horse. Um, <clears throat> Could be an ER. Um, let's try hopes in case it's a hidden P. Hooers. <laughs> oh, what about um shower? There it is. Okay, so fake P hidden W. Is reshow a word? Reshow? I don't know if that's a word. Trying to think about what the yep reshow okay perfect all right so swore yep um no peace we can't do power um uh, I want to do O's but that's not enough letters a oh, resow okay uh what about sower is that a word s o w e r it is okay uh one who sows <laughs> uh, oh, shrew. Well done. Hey, that was pretty good. Nice. All right, skip three levels. Ooh, tech gal. Love it. Number one. Oh, my, that's a lot. Um, my first instinct is that the Z is fake, but I've been proven wrong before. So the answers are hidden. We're going to have a fake letter and a hidden letter. Uh, I'm going to try horse again. In case it's an S. Oh, Sue. Sue got a door. Okay. Shannon got something. Let's see. Linda got heard. Okay. So we need to clear. Let's see. Natalie got fedora. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so it is a fake Z. It is a fake Z. So Fedora. Um I feel like it's gonna be an R E D word. R E D. Uh Sue got fared. Allison got fader. Have we discovered the hidden letter yet? Okay, so H O R E. F D A. Uh, let's see. Emma got feared. Oh, it's another E. It's another E. Okay, so fake Z, two E's. Um, feared. Uh, what is that word? Lucy got freed. Um. Freed. Let's see. Oh, Sue, Sue got forehead. Oh, there you go. Okay, um, nice. Okay, so we have four more six letter words, five more five letter words, header. We're almost there. We haven't reached the final one yet. Uh, um, um, adhere. Oh, I am of no help on this one. Uh, uh, re, re, re had. Refad, oh no, oh, oh Sue, yay Sue, just in time. Whew, just under the wire on that one. Well done, Sue. All right, Sue, number one, well earned. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try carry, straight out of the bat, maybe it's another R. Okay, answers are hidden. Um, let's see, what about riced? Uh, Annette got, Car oh, Carrie, no. Annette got Riced. Okay, oh, Annette, we are on the same wavelength. Uh, okay, so Riced, um, uh, Rider, 
rides. Redid. Um, oh, 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 okay. Uh, Sue got Creed. Marilyn got Raced. Okay, so... Creed, Raised... Oh, I think it's a fake eye. I think it's a fake eye. So... Um... F-E-A-R-E-D. Feared. Reared. Um... Wait, are there three? Are there three E's? Right, I know. It gets me every time. I Yeah, I really feel like... Did we do... Oh, I know. I said I'm pretty sure that the I is fake. Uh, Cedar. Tech Girl got Cedar. Um... Let's see. Raced. Um... Oh, did we get cared? Must have gotten cared, okay. Um... Ooh, okay. We haven't fit. Oh, the hidden is an H. Uh, um, okay. Heard. Um, oh no. Oh no. Uh, ch oh, charred. Is it charred? No. Cheered? Cheered. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was rough. That was rough. All right, we'll do that. And actually, we'll go to. We will go to this one here so I can talk to you guys. Okay. Hang on. Turn everything back here. I really, I'm, one of these days I want to get a bigger stream deck so I can like control the music and everything just a little bit better. Okay. All right. We're all caught up. I'm screwed. I'm all right. It was hard. Okay. Oh, perfect, Renee. Sweet. All right, everyone. So. To wrap up, to wrap up, all right? We finished the page. I'm gonna finish the frame on my own. We're gonna start something new on Friday. I'm leaning towards Kirby. I will let you know. However, most importantly, if you are able and want to join Saturday, the same time, we're gonna be doing a live stream. It's a charity live stream. We're gonna be doing some fun incentive stuff. Our goal for the live stream is, live stream is $300. If you're curious what it's all going to go to, check out the stream because I have it all posted there. But essentially, we are wanting to bring the joy of coloring to a group of women uh, in a rehabilitation center. So hopefully we can reach that goal. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Allison, oh no. So yeah, with that, we're going to wrap it up here. I'll see you all on Friday. And then Saturday, we're going to have a fun rest of the week. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for being awesome. Oh, and we had, let's see, who was it? It was, why is my updates not updating? Okay, I know we had somebody join new. Can't remember the name and it's not showing up on here. So because my brain's terrible. Three brain cells, they're working overtime anyway. But thank you for supporting and hanging out and chatting. And I'll see you this weekend, guys. We have a lot of fun, a lot of fun plans. So. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and I will chat with you on Friday. Bye. That wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to go. I hit the wrong buttons. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>